<laughs> All right, let's set the scene, man. It's uh, Whip Em Out Wednesday. This is the ONA virus spreading across America on XM Satellite Radio. Yeah. Rich Voss in studio. Jim Norton, of course. We're just uh, glowing in the whole uh, evening that we enjoyed with Jim Norton last night as he yes. taped his HBO special. We're going to get Ricky the intern in here to do his mm-hmm. report on sarcasm. And uh, and we'll comment about his new look, I guess. Yep. Courtesy of uh, the fans that decided to shave him. Yeah. At like 3 in the morning at some freaking lounge in the middle of the village. Right. And Sandy Kane is here. Oh, well, should we bring her in? Uh, well, she's getting through security and the paperwork. And, uh, oh, so you're going to wait. You're going to uh, let her wait out there. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you're saying, Opie? <laughs> Rich, I want to thank you for being here, just in case I forget. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe I got right in either. Yeah, really. Hey, was you know, Rich knows what to do now. <laughs> like, Rich, doesn't doesn't mess around. Rich just walks in the door and yeah. sits down. He's now. like, I ain't fucking He's waiting. Like, if, waiting. He knows if he sits on the couch of doom over there, yeah. you're just stuck watching the show. I'm going to sit show. out there like a fucking fat girl. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, someone asked me to dance. Please. The fact that I got well, up this early. Look at this mess. It's oh, <laughs> Right. She's, here. She's, oh, she She's ready to She's get wearing naked. a cute little pink fuzzy jacket. <laughs> Ugh, look at that. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Jesus Christ. She's got a belly shirt on. Yeah. She just took off her pink fur, yeah, I guess. Yeah. She looks like an old dancer. Her name should be like Dusty Vagina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're getting, you're getting right. props on the on the phone lines today, uh, Voss. James, what's up? Hey, hey guys. Hey, I got to tell you, whenever you have Voss with you, you three... It's like, it's perfect. You could be talking about dirt, and it would be funny. I mean, Jimmy and him are like brothers. You guys sound awesome. Yeah, we love when the Rich comes in. It's it's just a bunch of friends getting together. You know, yeah. Rich, in case something happens at the end of the show, thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're right. And we just did that. Uh, Here's the thing (laughs) about these HBO specials. You know, the two people... You know, comics, you know, you, you kind of get a little jealous because you're not... But the two people that you love that you're fucking are both doing one. It's almost <laughs> just as good. You know what I mean? Yeah, because Voss's fiance, uh, Bonnie, uh, did one as well. Friday right? night. Friday she night. got a standing yeah. O. And, you know, for two months, I, I was... You know, I mean, we've been on the road forever, you know, and she wasn't a road comic. She was an L.A. comic, and I'm a road comic, so I kind of had to help her along, you know? And then she got the special... They asked for a tape from her. She didn't have a tape, so I booked two nights for us. And, I, and I'm not taking credit. I'm just saying how you help Uh-oh. as a couple. Oh, boy. No, as go. you help as a couple. Here this we will, go. But listen, this will, no. This oh, tape no. right here that you're hearing, folks, will end up in litigation. No. Oh, <laughs> I will tell you what she said. <laughs> that will be played in courtroom. Oh, boy. Wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you. Jimmy's giving no. you a look like, just shut up No, no, but now. listen. But no, when you're a couple and, and you're doing shows, she has great, good shows around. She's not a comic like us. But when we were at the stress factory, I mean, she doesn't do well there. It's not her club. They're they're animals, you know. You got to follow that phone call and fucking Vinny's hack fest. So you know, you, all we do is fight. But she came a long way, right? When we when I came off your show last time, you guys were talking about prenups. Remember, you were talking about prenups. Yep. I swear to God, driving home that day in a car, she brought it up. You know, she thinks, well, I got an HBO special now. Maybe I should get a prenup. Oh, I didn't even bring it up. Yeah, and she goes, and then I'm arguing with her against it. And I'm going, wait a second, what am I, what a fucking you, idiot? Crazy? Well, I was doing psychology. Oh. And uh, so it was perfect. Psychology. But as I'm saying, it's tough when you're, uh, where you am gonna, I going with this? Nowhere. Uh, it's just great to watch because you're just digging this hole going, she's a great, she's a good comic. I mean, look, I helped her along. I no, mean, no, I know. We help each other. You're just waiting, wow, you're really just waiting for endorsement. One of, you're waiting for one of us to help you out. Yep. No, what I was saying is when you're two, <laughs> when you're best friend. Are you going to sign a prenup? Fuck yeah! I just look at this watch. You think I'm gonna let her take that? That is nice, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to get the necklace and the ring back and still get married. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice ring. She trashed me in the dressing room last you know, night. You know this. Uh, we got to be fair on this show. I mean, we kill each other on a daily basis, but you know, you got to give props as well. I was uh, I was up late. It was a school mm-hmm. night, and uh, I remember that you were, were telling me you were gonna be on Dennis Miller. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's right. And I've been st- starting to take a peek at Dennis Miller. That show's not that bad at all. I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it. And uh, you were on Dennis Miller. Yeah. Let's get right to, the, right to the thing. And he doesn't have you come out and, and, and do your act in front of the crowd or the, his, uh, uh, his uh, studio audience. He sits down with you. So you're sitting right next to Dennis Miller doing your act pretty much for him. You know, one guy, basically. You're focusing on him. And he was just enjoying the hell out of you, man. 
he was, you could tell when these when these uh, TV guys are are politely helping out the comics. But he was really, really enjoying it, and I was I was uh, really happy for you, man. I, oh, was, I was like, holy crap, Voss is killing in front of Dennis Miller. Well, thank you. The thing is, when well, you're you doing Dennis Miller, huh? I didn't hate Dennis Miller. Oh, listen, don't. Uh, no, no, uh, no, listen, it's like he cute. just did HBO. Just Dennis, Dennis, Dennis Miller. Oh, that's, that's like cute, that's like said. that's like oh. you know, it's like oh. serving him filet mignon and throwing scrapple in my face. Uh, oh, that's a great. That's nice. Isn't oh. it? Well, because we were talking oh, about my. Man. Okay, let me tell you dude, something. Dude, what, what time is Shut it? up, jizz comic. <laughs> okay. First Wait, was that CNBC? <laughs> no, actually, yeah. he's, he's fuckface. Okay. I was, I was, you know, you got to do a lot of stuff when you're waiting for your own. TV show to get started, I'm you know. So you're doing a little stuff to keep your face out. Oh, you! I'm happy for you. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 oh, look at this douchebag during a special, and me and Colin Quinn, he's name dropping I'll during his you, own special. I'll explain why. I'll, I'll explain why I mentioned Kyle's name because the joke. Uh, there was one line in the joke where I said. I, I, I did something about us being men, and mm -hmm. I had never made it clear, and it only worked well when I mentioned me and Kyle, a male's uh, name. That's the well, only reason I did that. Well, uh, the thing about Dennis Miller, I, I mean, it's just a, it's a small show. He's a great guy. But at the end, when I was done and I threw a kiss to the audience, <laughs> uh, Dennis said, you can always come back now, okay? Boss, uh, you, you missed that whole discussion where you started the show kind of talking about that. Oh, yeah. And uh, you you got me off the hook because you told me right after you know the taping, don't forget that he blew kisses to the audience. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I felt a, a, a relief because when Jim acknowledged Ant and I on, you know, in the audience and made us stand up, which is such such an awkward moment. <laughs> I actually gave him a thumbs up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I looked at him. I looked at him, and I didn't know what to do. So I go, I just go like this, thumbs uh, up to Jimmy, uh, right? And I'm like, oh, did I just give a thumbs up? And then Anthony admitted that his thumb was, I was on almost the way up. gonna, but then I decided to give him the point, like, you know, so, it's about so you. So I thought I was gonna get killed because I knew so doing that situation. I knew I someone saw that and was gonna throw me under the bus. And Opie then gave the thumbs up that should have been the freeze frame that do at the end of Chips episode. They freeze punch like doing a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm like, did I just give a thumbs up? I'm oh, like, oh, that was horrible. It really was bad. But, but oh. you, you saved oh. me by real. Because yeah, I didn't notice that he did the kiss thing. I'm like, all right, this, all right, this will balance it out slightly, you know. Oh, <laughs> Everybody throw a kiss. Oh, dude. Oh, dude, all three of you on stage. Yeah. Like, the game kiss. It is, it's the end of the newlywed game. It's oh, just oh, weird when there's such a special happy moment for one of your friends. There was such yeah. gay crap going on on the stage in the audience. Oh. Uh, back backstage in between shows, Jimmy's hugging and kissing Anthony and I and saying he loves us. Oh. And I'm just like, this is <laughs> just <laughs> awful. When he threw a kiss, Milton Burl, Milton Burl died again. It was <laughs> horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you don't know what to do, like when you're no, you know, you just, you know, when he Wait, said well, awkward to be like what? loving when you yeah. used to be in craves, it's awkward to yeah. be like you know, sweet and you know what I mean to be genuine. No. Just like, all kidding oh, aside, you know, obviously yeah. it, it felt good, you know, the hugs and the kisses. You know, when he goes to two guys, <laughs> and I, you know, I like to no, thank. It was awesome. I like to thank the two guys I love, Opie and Anthony. You know, and in the back of his mind, he's saying the two stepping stone. Uh, oh, you know, that's not true <laughs> at all, shut right? up. That's fucking so listen. Listen. What, what, he what, said, he <laughs> here we go. He would have said hi uh, to you from the stage, but he needed a bullhorn so he could hear it from the seat you're at. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to step there so he looked thin. Oh. Yeah, just you know, we, yeah, if, if we could well. actually yeah. rewind a year or so, and Jimmy was doing the same special, I'd like to thank Colin Quinn. Yeah, yeah I know. Let's oh, rewind five years ago. I'd like to thank Andrew Dice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. whoever, whoever it is that you should yeah. have just edited that part out, and <laughs> just in yeah. case something happens before it airs, where you can just pop in whoever. Hey, I'd uh, like to thank Bob Levy. <laughs> Hey, by the way, uh, Anthony and I want to get in on this a little bit. Uh, yeah. Jimmy filmed his HBO special last night. Voss just did uh, Dennis Miller. And uh, Anthony and I are featured in uh, Penthouse this month. Penthouse? <laughs> <laughs> you just spit all over the place. <laughs> oh, I love that. I do that all the time. <laughs> I knew it was going to sound absolutely awful. First of all, isn't it a hustler? Uh, I said penthouse? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we did it. you spit all <laughs> over the board. I, uh, well, we, we do have an interview coming out in uh, penthouse as well. Oh, we do? Ah, they love us. The smut magazines love the you and I. smut magazines just the door. No, it's program. Hustler Magazine. I'm sorry. J the, July, uh, the July issue, we have a little mention on the cover, too. You can't spit if you say hustler, though. <laughs>
You know, <laughs> and house. <laughs> hustler, hustler, hustler. We're in Hustler magazine. But uh, uh, where were we at? Oh, uh, so you were talking about your 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 time at uh, Atlantis. Oh, at the Atlantis. And that's where I went on vacation. It's not it's, the Atlantis. Yes, it is. What it is? It's just the, called Atlantis. Atlantis. The Atlantis. Well, what do you no, say, Atlantis? I went to Atlantis. Yeah. All right, I went oh, to Atlantis. Okay. Uh, well, the Atlantis. Uh, you know, I took my kids power sailing. Right? I said that last night. Yeah, last night no. is like, remember? Yeah, the kids went power You're kidding sailing. me? When we were in the green room, I'm like, just, I'm just trying to be your friend, and I'm smiling and stuff, and I whisper to Eric, Eric, write all this down for the show tomorrow. <laughs> but he says he, they went power sailing, <laughs> and he keeps the story going. No one said anything because we're amazed thinking, did he say power sailing? And then you're trying to realize what power sailing is. And I'm thinking, power, isn't that just called motor boating? It, it, it's power sailing. Wait, can I back and up? And then we realized, oh, my God, he means parasailing. <laughs> Everyone missed the obvious line, so we got to let uh, Chandler in here. Chandler. Yeah, hey, good. How you doing this morning, guys? Hey, what's up? Good morning. Congratulations there, Jimmy. Thank you, sir. Hey, I heard that uh, Voss gave a thumbs up, too, but nobody could see his little midget fingers from all the way to the back of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Touch it out, guys. Uh, there you go. Uh, that, the Atlantis is probably the most expensive. Here's the thing. It's unbelievable how much this crap costs there. Like, mm -hmm. uh, and one, you're on the beach, they're selling everything. I did all my Christmas shopping there. Black <laughs> people are selling coconuts. That's great. It's setting a race back another 200 years. But did you take no? Did you take the walk down the beach? The walk I, to the public beach? No, there's a public. Where? Oh you? my God! Why they try to sell you everything on the way, right? It was no. When you're not used to seeing, how am I going to say this without sounding like a complete tool? Uh -oh. When you're not used to seeing a lot of black people in 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 one place at one time, just enjoying themselves, it is just a weird, weird it's feeling you get, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah, when they're not waiting online to cash a check or something. Well, it's a it's a known oh. fact in the Bahamas. I mean, they got they obviously have a really good government yeah. because it's all locals working the tourist industry. You go to other islands and and they're importing uh, you know college kids in from all over the world. But something with the Bahamas is no only hire the locals. That is it. And these guys when they're you know they get their day off. I think it's a Monday because I walked down the beach and I was just holy crap. Well, the thing is, too, and there's really no crime there because their whole island's based on tourism. Right, yeah. So, and if they have all those people working, they're not going to let crime happen in front of them. Of course not. Uh, it, it, and they, they bust their ass. I mean, the guy's walking around with a box of coconuts and drinks on his That's head. Ed. You Ed, know, if you ever go to Atlantis, go see Ed. Atlantis. You know, go I want to take the kids to the Disney World after this. <laughs> <laughs> go see Ed. Your fan dick. Because Ed saw me coming. Yeah, I'm laying out, and uh, I decided to get two uh, two uh, coconut drinks mm -hmm. with some fine rum. Ooh. Yeah, and uh, I'm like, how much? He goes thirty dollars, oh. and I only had twenty on me, and uh, the guilt hits me immediately. I'm like, is there an ATM machine around here? I'll get the other ten. <laughs> oh, I thought you were looking for Ben. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, no, twenty's okay. Yeah. Fast forward end of the week, I'm getting the same damn drinks for like five bucks a piece. That's what they are. Yeah, I took the. Like when I wake up in the morning, I have to have coffee in my room. I want a coffee pot, right? You know, and I'm so far away from you know walking to get coffee. Jimmy, listen to this one. And you got to have coffee, oh, right? Now I want it right then. And then if you want a room service, it takes 40 minutes, and it's like you know after tipping, it's like 17 dollars for coffee in the morning, you know. So I figure I need to make coffee, and it hit me like in the club they had instant coffee, and they had powder uh, milk. So I took the instant coffee and the powdered milk back to my room, and I, I, I take on the road my little steamer to steam my uh, my suit. And if you put water in there, the steamer boils to steam. So I boiled the water in my steamer, and I made instant yeah. coffee every morning. Okay? I felt like I was in Oz. Okay? And then, then the kids wanted pancakes, so I had them cook that on. Well, whatever. I don't have a punchline for that. Would you get an iron and make grilled cheese? Yeah. Uh, oh, man, how soon that, the flow ends. That really deserves a good car crash. And then you go to the buffet. It's like you really 40 make coffee with your steamer, though. You're you're yeah. a big star now. Can you believe yeah, but I don't like to wait for my. You coffee. go downstairs. It was it, it was only two bucks a cup or something. It's not that I was staying in the villa. You know how far a walk everything is at the Atlantis. You know, I just want my coffee, and it's just kind of cool that you can make it in the steamer. You can it's improvise. Atlantis with a T, by the way. And then 
The, the buffet is like Alanis, 40 a person. Alanis, Alanis Morissette. I was at Alanis, Alanis Morissette. The Alanis. The Alanis. <laughs> the buffet is like 40 a person. The you know, buffet. If you're under 11, it's cheaper, so I send my one kid's under 11. Oh, she's pretty tall. Yeah, she's a mutant. So then I, w- I wouldn't pay for it. I wouldn't pay for the buffet. I said, well, it's only two, and I would have them make me little sandwiches and hand them to me under the table. <laughs> <laughs> this is the, the high living that Rich Voss has done at the Atlantis. He finally makes it, and he's still living this way. Coffee out of his steamer and hand me that under the table. Yeah, I had to make a creep. little crab, crab salad sandwiches. <laughs> And I said, I go to, can my kids take uh, their dessert to go from the buffet? And I got some pies, brought it back to my room. It was a big party there at the Atlantis. <laughs> Believe you me. Okay. Hey, did they bug you when you're walking down the beach? Is it like it is in Rio where they, they kind of attack you to sell you stuff? Or are they like kind of cool? Well, they walk by and they'll go, you're like, you know, do you want a necklace? And if you go yes or no, they sell a lot of cigars. I brought like 15 Cubans back that really aren't, you know. Uh, yeah, they, they don't bug you, but they... They just I'll walk by you, making a living. When you're laying down, maybe trying to sleep on the beach, you hear them, uh, you know, always coming by. Bread? You want to buy a, a bag or something? I'm trying to sleep. Shut up. It costs like 200 bucks to get my kid's hair braided, you know, with the beads. That's a big business. They, they got make the a, bead thing done? Oh, they the make girls. a fortune, yeah. And then they come back up here and look ridiculous. Yeah, I know. Bo Derek, what a, that was 40 <laughs> years ago, and the kids are still doing it. But they make a fortune. Yeah. Hey, we haven't had one of these in a while. We'll humor this guy. Uh, Benny in Texas. What's up, Benny? Oh, here we go. You guys, are, you guys suck. You guys blow. You're, it's just a rip off of the Howard Stern show done in a bad way. You guys aren't funny. That's why they took your ass off Premium Channel because nobody wanted to buy your ass. My rates went up another dollar to pay for your sorry ass. You guys suck. Right. Are you talking so fast so we can't interrupt you? Why don't you just slow down and talk one sentence at a time? Mm-hmm. No, I'm done. That's it? But why are you listening yeah, if this stuff? Yeah, Benny, that's that's what destroys your whole I, I argument. Went, hold went, on, hold on, Benny. Hold on, Benny. No, it destroys your whole argument. There's a, about 200 channels on, on XM, so why are you listening to us then? I'll tell you why, because I wanted to know what it was all about, and you guys suck. Right. I wanted to give you guys a chance, but you guys blow. Yeah, it was very obvious that we sucked last night when we were at the HBO taping. Nothing but love in the room. Well, good for Any, you. Anything else, Benny? Nope, Who's your it. favorite comic? Do, do you realize that, you know, we were going to just leave him alone, but do, do you realize that Howard Stern's ratings just uh, are just nosediving here Ow. in New York and nosediving all over the country? Well, that's fine. That's fine. He, he gives a better show. What, what else, else do you like he, from he, 1986? Sir? Yeah, he used to uh, do a pretty good show. I, I'll, I'll give him the props, definitely, but he's been calling it in for years. So for okay, you to say fine. that is just, uh, you know, is dishonest. <laughs> The guy's ratings came out here in New York. We haven't even really talked about it. It, it, it took a nosedive. He's going nowhere. Do you realize when he goes to satellite radio that uh, this show is going to have a much bigger audience right off the bat? I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. But, hey, you guys just ain't funny. Now, come on. Well, well, then, funny. Then, then go somewhere else. I, I You're obviously I, listening. That's what amazes me. When I don't like something, I, I don't. First of all, I stop listening, and second of all, well, I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't go I don't, out of my way to like to, to call the host listen. of the show. Benny, you'll know, keep listening. How, how do I know if I'm not going to like it? You know, if I don't give you a chance, so I'm giving you. All right, a listen. You gave, you'll keep listening. All right, listen. Sir. You gave us a chance. You hate it, so move on. That's how it works. But well, how long? And, you, and how, you know what? And if enough people hate the show and don't like it and move on, guess what? It'll take care of itself. Exactly. We will not be on the XM uh, platform. That's how it works, exactly. Benny. Exactly. But That's guess what? Works. Guess what? We're going to be here for a while. You'll keep listening, Benny. Benny, Benny how long have you listened? Just for today? No, actually, I've listened for a week. For a week. So you actually spent a week listening to something you didn't like? Dude, you're an idiot. No, no, I did not. I spent the week trying to get to know the show. No, dude, I listen. I don't know what what decision-making process you go through, but I'll listen to something for like five or six minutes, and I can pretty much tell if it's my vibe. Are you that that stupid that you would spend a week? Sometimes sometimes there's just something that uh, during the part of the show that, that sucks, but maybe something else along the way might be funny. But you guys aren't funny. Well, it's because maybe... Dude, the, the bottom line is this. Dude, you spent a week listening. You are a dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I am paying for XM Satellite. Dude, I, dude, sh- sh- for your dude, I don't care. Twin, I know you don't care. What well, you pay you for, talk. Benny. You have a medial job. You're keep not- spending your hard-earned money on us. You're paying for us. Benny, you're not, you're not paying for the actual Opie and Anthony show. You're paying for the whole XM platform. Mm-hmm. So if you don't like this channel, then there's a million other ones to choose from. Absolutely. That's how it works. A million now they got. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to try to, you know, uh, say it's, uh, that you're paying just for us. That's, you, that's, you know that's not true. And also, Benny, I 
I don't know if you, I want you to let me in, but my DVD is funny that you can get on richfoss.com. Why don't you give that a chance? <laughs> He's right. <laughs> give it a plug. Okay. Yeah, let me, know. Benny. Uh, let me, hey, let look, me, look, I got to get to work. I appreciate you guys giving my call. Appreciate it. Well, let me ask you a question, though. How does it feel to have voiced your opinion and to understand that nobody in this room cares about you at all? <laughs> I, I, I feel better. I do. I'm, I'm not even trying to bust your balls. If you, nobody in this room, your opinion is, is absolute. You work your whole life and you sweat and you put your money in the bank, and we don't care if you die on the way to work this morning. <laughs> okay. Right, well, you have a good afternoon. Keep listening, stupid. And, and, I, I and just, you will. I just love calls like him because, you know, they're just running out of steam to, to you know, defend Howard and try to talk about his show. Like, People aren't as passionate about Howard's show anymore. Howard had a little boost when the whole um, FCC <coughs> thing happened and when he said he was going to satellite. You know, people tuned in to see what was going on. But that quickly just dissolved again. The latest ratings came out. He's in the toilet. He's being beaten by, you know, Spanish language stations. And it's just... It, and that, that's in his hometown. I mean, that all, magic just is not there anymore. It, it's just that's not in his, there. That's in his hometown. He's in some markets, you know, mm -hmm. this is stuff he doesn't like to talk about. It, not even some. A lot of markets, he's out of the top 10, out of the yeah. top 20. It's not the days of old where this guy could go out and, you know, pack stadiums and, and uh, go to book signings where they're wrapped around the block 800 times. It just, that's the past. And people, for some reason, still think that's going on. They got this... Fan mentality that they not, absolutely believe. That's, that's the point I want to make, though. Not as many as there used to be. No, no, not as many at all. But he's, there's he's, a couple of the, there's there's uh, uh, these fans that actually believe that it's still the glory days. That calling up and going, you suck, Howard clones and Bob Bob Bowie <laughs> things yeah. like that are are like relevant. Yeah. yeah but what's but what even still. Why can't you like two? You know what's the difference? Why can't you like Stern? Oh, shut and like, up, diplomat! Uh, no, 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 no. It was an irritating oh. little uh, bit of. Stop yeah. trying to put no, gems of wisdom. You're, you're a dumb guy. Except you win. That, okay, that's a good point. <laughs> Relax. He's never calling you to yeah. go on the show. I don't, yeah. I, listen, you why think I would? You, like, you know, first why of all, can't you, you know like I would. And cheesecake. Shut up. Shut your face. No, shut up. When steak tells cheesecake, it can't talk. Cheesecake won't like steak. Just ride this train and shut up. You know I'm not. Just shut up. Why? Can't they like bullshit? <laughs> Why didn't the slave masters just look at the slaves as people and everybody get along, you ideologue idiots? <laughs> <No, you're... laughs> I don't know. Why didn't the Germans and the Jews shake hands in the 40s and cut all the malarkey out? I don't understand. <laughs> Confused, naive little boy. Oh, uh, you know what? awful wart ridden man. Shut your face. <laughs> it's becoming more and more obvious to you know the people out there that uh, Howard's just calling it in. Has been calling it in for years. He's uh, he, all he does is come up with excuses why he can't do a radio show anymore. And when the fact is, he just doesn't want to do a radio show he anymore. Doesn't, he doesn't have to. He signed up for his latest and last payday. That's it. Serious. And Mel over there, they're handing this guy a half a billion dollars. And you know what? God's Good speed. For him. Congratulations right. on your contract. That's a lot of money. But for anyone to sit out there and believe that this guy is doing this uh, for the sake of radio and to make his show better and to give the people a better program, it, you're just being stupid. And you'll see for yourself, I guess. The guy's going to collect a check. And he really has given up. He gave up a while ago. And the whole, you know, everyone's ripping me off. Oh, how, oh, you it, know, it, start, it, it's starting it even to get, used to be funny. It's starting to be very, very embarrassing. But for now him. it's really stupid. Anything that's brought up, the guy insists he invented. It's been that way for years. It was funny to goof on for a while. But now it's just sad. It's like, it, it's like someone's grandpa sitting there just saying that, I remember that I came up with that one. That was my idea. Shut up. You didn't invent everything. When, when he says that one line in, during that uh, wow thing, where it's like, I, I tie the bandana around the car, Fred. Fred, tell him. He go, and he goes, I did it. I did it all, he says. <laughs> he actually said, I did it all. Which means, in radio, if you even have an inkling that you might come up with an original idea, just put it out of your mind. Because he's already done it all. He's covered it where you can't possibly come up with something. He, new. He's now uh, recently started doing a bit that is the hackiest, oldest radio. Holy crap! Ooh. Bam! Oh, that's a plane's uh, wings ripping off. Was that the the old footage? I think it was. Wow. Yeah, a sure. plane just crashing without wings Oof. Yeah. on Fox News. Uh, we all have ADD, I know. Uh, we're worried. Yeah, uh, he started to talk about this bit he just started doing, right? That is the hackiest, oldest, 
one of the oldest radio bits. Yeah. I, I was doing it in college radio. I did it at BAB. And I'm not trying to say, you know, he ripped me off, you know, because that's Ooh. ridiculous. Because I just know, I you know. You picked it up from somewhere. It's just something probably, that was out there. I just know of uh, many, many shows that, you know, did this bit years ago. I'm telling you, I got a tape of doing the same bit ten years ago. And now he's claiming that he came up with this thing and now he's pissed off because other guys are doing it. Yeah. It is the simplest thing. You guys out there could probably relate. You probably did it with your friends. You call two Chinese restaurants, and you get them to talk back and forth. Mm -hmm. You know, you order from one guy, and then the other guy responds, and it goes back and forth. I, I was doing that 10 years ago, and I know other guys that were doing it, you know, 10, Long before that. 10 years ago, whatever. It's a prank call that kids would do at home that just kind of made its way to radio. So it, it's really embarrassing to hear that, you know, he finally discovers this bit that's been going yeah. on for years. And now is claiming that people are ripping him off by doing this bit. It's like, dude, are you insane? People could look up this stuff now. You know, it's I not was like the first one to call a, a bowling alley and say, uh, "Do you have ten pound balls?" <laughs> it's not like the <laughs> old. How do you walk? It's, it's, that was me, Robin. It's not like the old days where there was uh, no internet, so it's a lot tougher to you know check up on some of these things. That's a bit that's been out there for for years. I mean, Excuse years. Me. Um, is your refrigerator running? No, you better catch it because it's running. Do uh, you have Prince Albert in a can? I got a colored girl in a glass fishbowl. It's a dunk tag, right? It's the dunk tag. That, yeah, that Jay Moore line about it Ouch. being a dunk tag was just brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, for Ralph, what's up? You know, another thing that that uh, kiss-ass Dick Leno rips off is he's got this uh, guy he calls Ross the intern. Yeah. You know, and like I don't know what that is. And he, but... you know, he's just he's some intern, you know, and he's like, "Here's Ross the intern." No, nobody did that before you. Nobody knew what an intern was. Before. <laughs> <laughs> now you know what? Here's a guy, a fan, pumping him up. Here's the difference between the shows. If someone oh. called in with that with us, we would. Fucking destroy you! No one did had interns, but you know his listeners have to you know stroke his ego, and he's actually gonna go with this call. Like now it's, he's gonna, like it's serious. Now he's gonna go with it. But an intern once before you started profiling somebody like that, you know? I see the way I've influenced television and what has gone down in the last since I've got on in L.A. Which? Oh my God! You can't be serious. Stop it! It's an embarrassment. <laughs> It's embarrassing to listen to. Howard, you're so out of touch. You have no idea how embarrassed you sound embarrassing like a you doddering sound. fool. What a buffoon <laughs> to stand to get on that mic and how he's influenced television and to, stop it. Yeah, you know something? The guy brought something to radio. He absolutely did. There's no denying that. At the pinnacle of his career back in, you know, the late eighties, early nineties. The guy was the hottest thing that radio had seen in, 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 you know, some time. But to get on and just claim that, that you invented everything and had this overall influence on the entertainment industry, have, be realistic about what you did. You know, be proud of it, and, and, but realistic. Christ, the guy is coming off like Jonas Salk. He forgot how to have fun on the radio years ago. Years ago on play which is over i don't know 15 years yeah hugely look at fred the way they used to talk on that show it was it was so you know the way you talk on the show yeah, i know it, even it, all the reality television fred, if you what? want to get right down to it wait 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 what reality television was he saying friends did he say that friends look at the way they talk on friends they is this caller goofing on him is this caller setting him up to look stupid he's doing a great job did he actually say that friends the dialogue in the sitcom Friends was influenced by the Howard Stern show, and Howard agreed? Did I hear that? I'm not even joking. I want to know if I heard correctly. Let me hear that again. Look at that show. It was, it was so, you know, the way you talk on the show. Yeah, I know. It's I think all the reality friends. television. Oh, okay. i got to go way back. I'm sorry. Way back. <laughs> friends. You know, we'll just start over. Fuck wow. it. Ralph, what's up? You know, another thing that that uh, kiss-ass Dick Leno rips off is he's got this uh, guy he calls Ross the intern. Yeah. You know, and like I don't know what that is. And he, but... pro you know, he's just he's some intern, you know, and he's like, here's Ross the intern. No, 
Nobody did that before you. Nobody knew what an intern was before you started profiling <laughs> somebody like that, you know? I see the way I've influenced television and what has gone down in the last, since I've got on in L.A., which is over, I don't know, 15 years. Yeah. Hugely. Look at Friends. The way they used to talk on that show, it was it was so, you know, the way you talk on the show. I know. It's, Even it's, all the reality. Oh. Oh. Wow. Apparently this is um, Ralph, his hairstylist. Oh, it is Ralph? Yeah. Okay. Just feeding, feeding, feeding Howard this shit, this drivel. He did, <laughs> Friends. Which, by the way, they plan in, in advance. Of course. Friends was... In, now, I've never been a big fan of the show Friends, but I have caught uh, some episodes of the show Friends. The, there is... You can't even come close to showing any kind of Howard Stern influence. And I don't know about There was once... I don't watch it much, but yeah. there was one time where Chandler walked into the room, and I think it was David Schwimmer walked in, and he walked in, and he goes, hey, how are you? And I think Chandler said, I'm fine. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, where is that from? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that is such an original way of talking. That has to come from somewhere, and I'm glad I found out where it was. Yeah, well, okay. Well, I'm wrong then. Even <laughs> all the reality television, if you want to get right down to it. Hey, you know what it really pisses me oh, off more than anything? The, all the reality. Oh! <laughs> the reality television is directly linked to the Howard Stern show. Holy Jesus. Hey, you know what it really pisses me off more than anything? This um, uh, telepictures who um, uh, we 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 did a thing on the air for years called the homeless game. Still do it. And after I fir the first two times I did it on the air, the homeless game, I got calls from every television guy out in L.A. saying we'd like to do you know because I said I might develop a TV show like this uh -huh. where we go out and ask people stuff and then we bet on it. And um, they all called me, and I said, well, I, quite frankly, I don't need, including telepictures, I, I said, I don't need you guys to do this. I'll do it on my own. Mm -hmm. And I started to develop it. Yeah, sure. Next thing I know, they get this show Street Smarts. Street Smarts, yeah. Well, it's in its what? sixth. <laughs> is he claiming Street Smarts came from him? I don't even know what Street Smarts is. Oof. It's a, a game show where they, um, they have uh, contestants in the studio, and uh, they have to guess... What people on the street are gonna say uh, uh, an answer to a question? So they'll have a question, you know, who who invented the cotton gin, and then you'll have three people on the street, and the people uh, in the studio have to guess who's gonna get the right answer. By the way, a very old radio bit. Oh, stop! An extremely old radio bit. It's it's called Man on the Street. It was done in the fucking 30s. <laughs> Steve Allen did it. It was done in the 30s. They interviewed people at the Hindenburg crash. Dude, Steve Allen did it with a microphone that was so big right. that he, had, he needed two people to carry it. Stop Cause it already. Because they didn't have the technology uh, worked out back then, but all, he was doing it. All the stuff that Howard wanted, said uh, he came up with and wanted to develop, uh, and the only show he developed is a ripoff of the naked gun things done on a beach. That was pretty much it. Every genius idea he never pursued, and eventually it was ripped off from him and someone else did it. So the one time he actually did produce a show and put it out, it was a blatant ripoff of the Naked Gun movies done on a beach setting. A, a uh, uh, what the hell is the, the Lifeguard series there? Son of a Beach? No, the one that was done with Oh, the, oh, oh. The, with the tits. And Baywatch. The Baywatch. Baywatch. Jesus Christ, I'm insane. Oh, I Baywatch, it. by the way, I invented that. <laughs> And, and it's, it's a rip-off of Baywatch and the Naked Gun things. It's all that pun-type humor and, and sight gags that, that the Zucker brothers did. And, and, and he took that, and that's the one he came up with. All the brilliant ideas he passed by to, to have other people rip off from him, and that's the one he came up with. A blatant rip-off of the Zucker brothers. Stop it. You're an old fool. Oh, they got the show Street Smarts. Street Smarts, yeah. It's in its sixth season, and and it's just like like I don't know. It's just so weird. Like, and they were, they called me at the time and said you want, and they just went ahead and did it on their own. Right. And I said, you know what? So what if they do it on their own? They, they did it lame. But meanwhile, they they got it's six seasons. For six years. They're making a lot of money off of it. It's a horrible show. I mean, they 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 make it not funny, 
And it's but he's still successful. doing well. And I'm such a jack off because I go, you know, when these guys get a hold of stuff, they don't make it funny. It'll never succeed. <laughs> but it does because <laughs> it because the world accepts mediocrity. Well, they ruin the evaluators. Are you hot? Was a bad version of that. Yeah, well, uh, forget about that. Don't even don't even bring that up. Don't get that, started there. Yeah, they did kill that. Don't get me nuts with that one. But, but uh, you know. <laughs> I mean, basically, these guys do take stuff and make it worse. That's what makes it. And a whole generation of kids think it's... Do you remember about a year ago we were in a meeting and you pitched... Someone pitched a, a version of the street game, the mm -hmm. homeless game, and one of the interns, who, you know, it's not his fault, he said, that's just like street smarts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would well, throw something at him. Well, he, I get a hundred letters a week. What I get a hundred letters a week and uh, people go, uh, hey, man, I like how you rip off Jay Leno's uh, bit... Um, you know, whatever that's called. Jaywalking. Jay -walking. And, Jay -walking. And, and you want to just pound your head into the wall because <laughs> Please do Jay it. Leno is so smug. Stop exaggerating. You're getting a hundred emails a week. I'm saying I, I, I'm ripping off Jay Leno. <laughs> it's man on the street interviews. This is a staple of radio. It, Marconi did it. What the? This is not. How do you claim something that has been done for decades, for a century? It's called a man on the street interview. Whether it's serious or you bring humor to it, it's still going out on the street and interviewing people. It's not ripping me off. Does he, he doesn't even realize in his head. He actually believes this. What a fool. Yeah, someone's got to email me the whole uh, uh, recap about how he was talking about the Chinese food prank and how everyone's ripping that off. Ripping that off. A prank phone call. A bit that's been done for a really long time. Every radio guy... <laughs> That, Alexander Graham that, Bell did it to Watson. Yeah, every, <laughs> called him up, said, Watson, come quick, I need Chinese food. <laughs> and then put a Chinese guy on the other end. Every radio guy that somewhere else, I guess. <laughs> every radio guy that attempted to do, you know, uh, you know, personality radio did that yeah. bit. Some right. some really bad and some pulled it off and, and did okay with it. Uh Spicknick is on the line here. Spicknick, what's up? Yo, what's up, buddy? Hey. I was just on the internet the other day, just bullshitting on a uh, Ebounds world. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude, it's on there, and it's like a British DJ, and it's the exact same fucking thing. Oh, uh, well, that's why I want to find the recap, because, uh, like I said, you know, the, the, the prank is you, you you call two Chinese restaurants, and they go at each other. They have no idea what's going on. They think each each place is ordering food, blah blah blah, and it's really really funny. You, you got to do it a bunch of times to get one oh, yeah. that that you could air on the air, right? Oh, so, I, I swear to you, I got a tape of doing it 10 years ago. I'm not trying to claim anyone ripped me off because I got it from somebody. It's just one of these prank call staples that a lot of guys just used to do mm -hmm. on radio, in frat houses. So, Howard finally discovers this prank and does it, I guess, recently, okay? Then someone calls and, and, and talks about the guy in Britain that did the exact same thing. Howard actually says the guy had to have flown to America. No. <laughs> And heard his show, then flew back, and then did the prank on his radio show. What an old buffoon. But I can't find the recap where he, he talks about that. What an idiot. Someone brought it to our attention because actually someone out there uh, has the actual file that I did years ago. I guess it's on one of the, uh, the file-sharing uh, boards or something. So. I've, I've read some, some emails and stuff from people and uh, 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 posts on the message boards that say, you know, why do you even talk about them? Why do you even address things like this? Because somebody, just somebody has to point this out. It's somebody, he's got, how many years has this guy gone on and, and, and just spouted this crap? It has to occasionally be pointed out. Well, you know, and you can make jokes, whatever, but, uh, you know, I'm speaking up for a lot of the DJs that were ripped off by Howard. Yeah. You know, and then Howard, mm -hmm. you know, squashes them and makes them look stupid because, you know, his, his listeners will believe whatever he says. Yep. And a lot of guys had some really, really creative bits out there that were stolen from, you know, that yeah. Howard stole. But it's a known one of the biggest ones. It's a known fact. And before the internet, you know, you could get away with that crap. And yeah. he did. And that's why I'm convinced that's why he yells and screams the most about how everyone's ripping him off because he's the biggest rip off artist out there. Two poor bastards uh, trying to eke out a living on the radio in Maine came up with butt bongo. They uh, they they would play music and take the chick and and have her naked <clears throat> and play the bongos on her ass. And um, some caller called into Howard. And and told him about that bit, and uh, Howard goes, "Wow, that's really funny." Uh, you know, there there isn't anybody. I, I can't believe uh, radio guys actually came up with something funny. And then as time went on, he started doing it, and actually based a, a 
DVD or, or some kind of pay per view thing. I don't know. No, on, on the whole thing, it yeah. was like what? It, blatantly ripping off two guys, two poor bastards. Don't even know who they are or anything. And he goes on a daily basis and talks about how he just invented everything. He's going to get his ass killed on satellite radio. Have fun over there. It's serious, man. Have fun over there at the little doggy company. Unle have fun with your buddy Mel over there. Unless he figures out how to have fun on the radio again. Because he, he's, he hasn't had fun in years. Mm -hmm. In years. And he loves uh, XM satellite radio. He has one. You know, he listens. Yep. He loves it. You know, he wanted to come here, but, but because of something that he has... Uh, uh, with Anthony and I, he refused to come over here. That's fine, whatever. The company said, well, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm. Have fun, you know? Because they're not basing their... XM's not basing their whole company around one stupid show. It's there just not how satellite radio is going to succeed. It's just, it's just not going to su succeed that way. <laughs> All right. Here's Howard Stern talking about XM satellite radio. And, and we know for a fact, because we still have friends over at the old company, he's furious. He's gone to the company. He's gone to his bosses. And he said, please, you know, shut these guys up. They're playing my audio on their show and goofing on me. And the company, because they feel like they got screwed from, you know, by him. They're like, tough yep. shit, buddy. Yeah, all they have to do tough is send over cease and desist. And they, they refuse to do it. They nope. will not do it for him, you know? Nope. Because, and, and this is the beauty of what, uh, why we're doing it. Because in the old days, we would point out some of this dumb shit. And uh, we would get yelled at, screamed at behind the scenes, threatened to be fired and sued and all sorts of stuff. Because he mm -hmm. couldn't handle it. And he's still playing that game, but no one's listening anymore. They're like, oh, well, Howard, you know, too bad. Too fucking bad. I invented that. So here's Howard Stern talking about XM Satellite Radio. If you're planning a road trip this week and it's time to take XM Satellite Radio along for the ride, XM gives you 100% commercial-free music. It's the ultimate playlist with channels for album rock, alternative, heavy metal, hip-hop, unsigned bands, blues, jazz... There's an XM channel for everyone in the family, including the biggest names in news, sports, talk, and comedy. All in digital quality sound for less than 10 bucks a month. No wonder it's the most listened to satellite radio service. The XM Roadie from Delphi can turn any radio into an XM radio. It's the smallest satellite radio ever, so it looks great on your dashboard. Plus, for a limited time, you'll also get a free home kit, so you can connect XM to any home stereo. XM makes a great graduation or Father's Day gift. Check it out. Electronic stores, including Best Buy and Circuit City. Beyond AM, Beyond FM, it's XM Satellite Radio. Like sands through the hourglass, so is the day virus. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I'll put it in my phone immediately. There you go, please. So you won't, so you will never call it. No, I'll call Adam. Yeah. Oh, sure you will. No, we get, well, I get those random calls every now and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but I'm the same. I'm the same way, kind of. Mm. Yes, yeah, see? Like, how was the last time we just checked in? It's not like we got to have tea every week. No. <laughs> we check in. What are you doing? How are you doing? How are you, you being doing, screwed right? over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and that's all you need, though, right? Yeah, yeah you just check, check in. in with your We don't have discussions day. on the phone. I don't think we ever really did. No, we, we'd make each other laugh, and then a lot of it is yeah. grunt. And then, eh, eh. eh. Well, how are you doing? Ah, fucking agent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you know, yeah, I'm sure I'm, I'm going for this show. And then I go, yeah, ugh. Uh, and then he's like, how you doing? Ah, we got, you know, XM's calling, but Bob's talking to him. It's taking forever. I'd up dying at him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's our conversation. That's about it. All right, right there, pal. I'll talk uh, to you. You be all right? You need anything? No, I'm fine. Ah, how cool. about you? A lot. How's the family? Ah. Good. Good. How's yours? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you grunt, groan, and hang up. And then, and then, did you ever get this? And you're like, well, like, the girl, the my, my girlfriend like, so what you talk about? Yeah, nothing. He's all right. Yeah. That's pretty much yeah. it. So what's, uh, what's Adam doing? Nothing. Yeah, same stuff. Yeah. yeah he's being funny. Yeah. Somewhere. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the same thing. Yeah. What is Late Show Friday's going to suck, but you do it. I mean, it's the same. <laughs> that's pretty much our come yeah. on conversation. My fa I, I think it's, it just happens to all... My father's down to grunts. He's not even at this point. Doesn't even throw any words. Hey, pop. Hey, <laughs> 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 yeah, that's it. How's mom? Eh, how's my? I'm not feeling too good. Yeah, I think I'm depressed. Yeah, welcome to Earth. <laughs> Try living with your mother. She's a carrier. Ah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, when you become like really close friends for many years, mm -hmm. you just don't have those conversations on it's the phone. The same those list. conversations you have with people that you just you kind of friendly with, or you, you haven't talked to in a while, but you just run out of shit to say. Then you catch up and stuff. Yeah. What do I got to tell Adam about, you know, oh, I'm getting a new couch. Yeah. You know, eh, eh, eh. 
Well, like, no, the yeah. first, it's always the check. It's first, his family's all right. Yeah. All good, sounds good. All right, good. Yeah. We all go through the family. Then how's work? And it's always, that's where it, that's, the, grunts, grunts, uh, that's uh, the grunting bastards, comes from. Uh, Did you do that, anything uh, cool? Goes, yeah, we had a sunset town. Topless doing the news. Really? Okay. Yeah. I got to go. <laughs> I got to go. All right, pal. <laughs> See you Talk later. To you. That's it. No, As a text matter of fact, me. I take your number. I don't need it yeah, now that I think that. about it. Forget it. I'm taking you out of my book. I really don't have to call. Kobe and Anthony, the virus is spreading. We still got a lot of show to do today. We got to get Sandy Kane in here, huh? Yeah. Got a quick uh, interesting story, though. Yeah. Popped up. A shocking story surfacing within the La Jolla School District has many parents on edge. Police say two six year old boys were performing sexual acts on each other on campus. <laughs> That's right. Got a magic act. Was there a porch involved? <laughs> we were told the two six year old boys in question were performing. Performing oral sex on each other in the restroom. Ah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, school parents very upset. Um, another six-year-old student walked in, saw what happened. Little Budinsky. Yeah. <laughs> Loose lips sh- sink ships. I almost screwed that up. You certainly did. Loose lips ships. <laughs> and um, children are now being monitored as they go to the bathroom. Ooh, who gets that lucky job? <laughs> <laughs> Just stand over the shoulder, peek. Can you get a uh, heart on it? Six years old? Wow, I have no idea. Uh, Jim, th- can they? I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Two parents uh, contacted Action Four News, complaining because the little boys were only given counseling in a brief, uh, in a brief in-school suspension. What are you supposed to do to these kids? Suspend them for what? Like what? See, it's stupid little, you know, boy experimentation stuff, but what are you supposed to do? Suspend them and beat them and... Yeah. You know what? <laughs> they might Obviously, come. it's not something new, right, Jimmy? Yeah, I mean, I've heard that a lot of little boys have had those ha <laughs> little things. <laughs> stuff like this has gone on in the past. Sure. Maybe yeah, but... it's not a completely normal thing that everyone does, but obviously it's been done in the past. Under different names, I'm sure. Absolutely. You just uh, yeah, you know, sure. let it happen, and sooner or later, one of yeah. them will grow up and talk about his you know, little fat stomach for a living. Kids might have called it a creature uh, precipitation, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, Who but knows? probably one of them. There might be, like, molestation there, and one mm-hmm. kid... There might be know, what? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm just giving one of them a mouthful. Yeah, mole- whatever it's called, you know, fucking pedophilia or whatever. No, no not what pedophilia. <laughs> Uh, Mol- molestation? Yeah, molestation. That's what I said. Mol- mollusks and that's, in why, there? that's why kids... What's that? Some form of sea life? Yeah. Put your finger a barnacle before it's eight. <laughs> <laughs> Some mollusk might have happened. Oh, <laughs> oh no wonder I... Bonnie calls me the idiot know-it-all. <laughs> <laughs> the other day, you know what I said? Uh, oh, Annie God. Lennox was on, yeah. and I'm trying to be like, yeah, 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 yeah. She she used to sing with the arithmetics. I said, to her. <laughs> oh, oh, the arithmetics. And Bonnie looked at me because you're just a fucking dummy. <laughs> and when I was getting gray in my hair, she goes, it's horrible because now people are gonna think you're intelligent. And then you open your mouth. <laughs> Oh, she's the distinguished gray on the, your temples. She goes, and then you open your mouth and it just ruins everything. What was the crack line she was saying in the green room last night oh, in between shows? God damn, I don't remember. We were oh. talking about, you know, obviously uh, addictions uh, and stuff. And the addiction and your old addiction with crack, Voss's addiction that he used to have. And uh, I guess my addiction with video games came up. And um, I said something like, well, at least to get a video game, I didn't have to suck any dick. <laughs> and uh, Bonnie said that. Uh, Voss would smoke the crack just so he could suck the dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she just smashes him. Oh, just at every turn, she's bashing him, and it's hysterical. We were in the elevator, all of us were on the elevator, and we were talking about how when Rich walked out and got that huge ovation, and she goes, yeah, it was the first time I thought I made the right decision. <laughs> 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 she said to me though, I got. She goes, you know, when uh, uh, she goes, I thought you said you had a house, not a townhouse. And I go, well, I thought you said you had forty minutes. <laughs> wow. Townhouse. Who was ragging? Oh, Patrice was just ragging your connected house. That jackass has a roommate in an apartment. 
<laughs> he was ragging about your make-believe house. <laughs> I My fucking place is nice. Houses. I, 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 I took the tour, you know, after playing golf. Yeah. He I bought was an apartment. I was happy for you, but I'm not feeling the old furniture, though. It's fu- I got antiques. I got stuff in there that's so nice. If you, if your grandmother was a gay male, that's how my house is like, <laughs> decorated. I got nice. What? Because I don't have shit from IKEA. I got fucking. Because no, you don't have shit after 1980. <laughs> listen, you have a great I, couch if you want to watch Raging Bull on it. Listen, <laughs> I feel like your your apartment is haunted. The stuff is so old. Is it really? No, you got a lot of old stuff. I got like an, I like it's, antiques. You know, I go antique and well, garage sales, and I like to refurn. Re, I do the stuff over my. You just buy your stuff at garage sales? No, just, no. I just say refurbish, and when I re, I do it over my. <laughs> oh, no. A lot of this stuff I used to, when I had when I had real major anxiety. I used to have to find ways to keep myself busy, so I would buy like old armoires or stuff like that, and just, I would redo them. They just you know. look uncomfortable. No, nah, yeah, the couch is pretty uncomfortable. It's a nice Victorian. I got some fucking, I got artwork in there that's like two, three hundred dollars. What are you talking about? I mean, I got expensive shit. No, I got some nice antiques. Get rid of the old junk. No, I got nice. You never listen. I, I, know, I mean up. material. You have a, uh, oh God. And you have a picture of you on stage at Woodstock, right? I have two walls of like a lot of my stuff where. Uh, the Oscars I wrote on uh, on stage at Woodstock. On, I, I was on the big Sony screen New Year's Eve one year. You know, I just got like you know, the, like he has a wall with him and all the celebrities. Got a better photographer though. What? You could have got a better photograph. Was of like this blown stuff. up Kodak Instamatics. I got some fucking cool stuff. Look, you know, you could trash my I'm place. I'm not trashing. I'm, I said no. I started this by saying I'm I'm happy for you. I'm, no. just, I'm just not feeling the old furniture. That's all. Yeah. yeah well, everybody has different taste. You know. It's some new furniture. You know, yeah. it's the fuck Howard told me to get it, so I ran out and got that kind of stuff. <laughs> Why can't you like new furniture and old furniture? <laughs> 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 oh, make a stand once in your life. No, I do make a lot. I make a lot of stands. Kofi a non idiot. I was just going to say Kofi. <laughs> wow. Oh. I have never had somebody say Kofi Annan as it was about to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Holy shit. Hey, Foss, have you ever done the oh. news for us? No, no. It could be fun is all I'm thinking. Oh. Why, how do you do the news? What do you mean? Well, maybe next time you come in, we'll have you do the news. I'll fucking do the news. I know right. what's going on. All right. I'm fucking well read. No, yeah, you actually have a, a news report and everything. You know, stories on in front of you and... And, and shit, yeah? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I, I think that could be a lot of fun, actually. Let's go to... Uh, <laughs> you want to go to Sandy Kane, finally? Yeah, absolutely. <coughs> All right, let's get Sandy Kane in here. Wow, we've never been on at this hour. Wow, we're supposed to be off the air by now, no? Yeah. We're doing an extra show today. Ladies and gentlemen, Sandy Kane. Hey. 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 What are you doing, guys? I missed you. Well, you got to get up by the mic there, Sandy. Okay, Take hey. a seat. Okay. And uh, pull that mic up to your mouth. Okay. She looks like Dolly Parton with AIDS. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. Dildo, man. I'm not offended. I love, you know, to, be, I love to be, I, you know, I think I really into, into S&M. I just can't wait to be abused. Really? My like mother abused, abused me, bit. so. Did she? Uh-huh. What did she, she do to you? My mother's a bisexual. Really? Yeah. If my father didn't buy her something, she didn't feel sexual. Uh, <laughs> your mother really abused you or no? Oh, yeah. No, not physically. Well, um... In a way, she did. Yeah? Really? Did she beat you around a little bit, smack you? No, she always sent me to dentists. What? She always sent me to dentists. Right, and you've had that big problem yeah, with the dentist. Yeah, yeah. And, and I remember just, hearing you know, that story. I'm going to cry, she... But, you know... Um, oh, I forgot about Remember? She had a problem with the dentist, knocked right. his teeth out or something? Right, right, right. What well, happened? <laughs> right, right, right. But she was... Well, uh, that's why, you know... Hold on, hold on. Because we... Uh, Sandy, we got to... Yeah, we got to get right into this. I mean, we have a whole new audience now. We're, we're I, heard all over the country. You got to tell the dentist get, story again. I forgot all about that. No, just, you were dating a dentist? Dating? No, no. I was, uh, I was addicted to dentists. She because was of my mother. To dentists. Yeah, I was addicted to dentists and uh-huh. the drill and stuff. It maybe it might have been sexual, but my f- mother always sent me to dentists, and I just want to um, advise anyone that dentists are the worst people. Usually, you don't, you know, teeth heal more than people know it. Because now I can't go to one, and because uh, it's just almost, you know, futile. But uh, I did get a one female dentist that had a heart. But, Wait, you're yeah. really, you are off on a tangent here. We stay focused, Sandy. Okay. Stay but what focused. did a dentist the abuse dentist. I came here for therapy. The dentist now. Yeah. What, what happened that you got addicted to dentists? Well, every time I think I had a big mouth, my mother would send me to dentists. By the way, she has, you know, she had a problem there, too. Olivia. With dentists? Yeah, may, yeah maybe so, her mother. So, wait a minute. It didn't one. have to, anything to do with your teeth. 
if if you like smart mouthed her, yes. she'd send you to the dentist. Yeah, because yeah. your mouth was being bad, so she would then have your teeth drilled. I, I think it was a lot more um, like she would abuse me so my my teeth would hurt, and then she would send me to the dentist, and then he would drill uh, unnecessary teeth, which they <laughs> do. Oh, she's oh, Olivier, the dentist. Yeah, they really do. Wow. And, um, I have a you know, big Sandy, problem. What, what year was this about? 1900 and... 1800 and... No, what was it then? Um... Uh, you know, uh, what, what was it, 60s, the 70s, 60s, you know? Really, 60s, 70s? 60s, 70s, you know. Wait, no, how, old, I, how, old, no, how old a gal are you, Sandy? Can you keep a secret? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's mine. How old, how old are you? No, uh, no, are no, you really. I are mean, you over 45? You're over, really, yeah. you're over 45, yes. so in the 70s, you were that you were at no, least but the thing 15. is, I I've been uh, having problems. Well, but now I have nothing to to drill, so it you know it. it oh, so you can I say that not, again. No, no, if I can just help anyone 60, out here. It's sixties in the sixties or seventies. So I have to get what's the difference, like, man? Hey, hold, you know, hold I'm, a, I'm a woman. I'm touchy about my age. So no, 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 that's fine. I'm yeah, just saying. Yeah. No, no, yeah. We, I don't care about your age anymore. I know men are. Sandy. I don't care about your age anymore. Okay. In the 60s oh. or 70s, it just seems to me like, how is your mother still sending into these dentists? Right, when you, you were 30. You seemed like you were a little yeah. older. Well, I was addicted and I would go by myself. You'd go by yourself. Yeah. Because now, because your mother sent you there to be punished just about, you yeah. became addicted to this? Yeah. Because is this some kind of a self-deprecating thing? Some kind of a... I don't know. You, I really felt I needed a dentist. You felt yeah. you needed, and then yeah. you would go to the dentist, and what, did you have cavities, or you just tell them drill? What? what? Well, it, um... Just there was so much work done, and then needed more work done. And I was always so used to when some, something dramatic happened or traumatic, I'd go to the dentist. When it was really maybe my love life sucked. Well, I'm I a stripper. I hated my life. My you know, so sometimes it hit my mouth, but sometimes it passes. And now when you know, like I was supposed to do the show, and my mouth like, don't do the show, your mouth, you know. But um, I did it anyway because I know now. That um, it's just it will pass, and the devil tries to get you in certain ways. So. Are you still? Are you still have this? Um... Well, look. Well, let me see. You, you know, it's horrible. Let's see. Let's see. So what? You look. Ugh, it's horrible. Open, open your gap. <laughs> no, <laughs> man. Christopher Walken. Open your gap. Yeah, I know. Walken. She, he's a bad mouth too. He's just, no, but you sound like him just there. Oh, your mother okay. used to send you to dinner. If you say something dirty to your, if you say something dirty to like your father wash your mouth out with cock, I mean, like, oh, what kind of family did you have? Oh, no, they're nice Jewish, very, very. Strictly. You're not a Jew. Don't say you're a Jew. She's a Jew. Of course she She's is. a Jew? Yeah. With a cross? Look at that outfit. Great. What, did you get the cross on sale? Look at either a Jew or I mean, Ozzy in 1972. Look at the big titties. <laughs> the Jewish tits. But uh, no, I mean, Jesus, Jesus saved yeah. me. He saved me. Really? Yeah. From dentists? Yeah, from just life. You yeah. know, you just go to church and you just, uh, you know, you're know, fear. kind of Jew, it's that whole Jesus and Jew thing, it's all bullshit, okay? Yeah, can't you like Jesus and Jews? Yeah. yeah. Right? He was a Jew, though. No, Jesus was a Jew. We know that. You uh, were a cross. Jesus was three, Puerto Rican. Three crosses. So, so how old were you when your parents started saying to the dentist? Oh, about um, seven, eight, nine years old. So 53 years ago, your mom was sending you to a dentist? Yeah. Well, you know, so was very young. When Jim was there bad, his father no, would send him know, to a proctologist. Like, well, my mother had a thing no, with doctors, good. man. <laughs> yeah. Everything was went to the doctor, to the doctor, to the doctor. You know? yeah, yeah. It wasn't like, you know, they were just weird with doctors. And wow, and dentistry back then yeah. must have just been a treat. Yeah. And it wow. still sucks, and it still sucks, and it still sucks, because I still call dentists, and they still suck. When was the last time you've been to uh, Well, I just called one the other day, man, and, he, you know, it's just, like, weird. And Wait, why did you suck. call a dentist the other day? Because I'm having a certain problem. What? Well, there's a certain something that's kind of coming you, out. You got, what? A, you got a toothache. No, it wasn't a toothache. You need a root canal. You need a tooth pulled. No, there, there aren't much, you know, it's just, I did, was, I was having a problem. And not, was, was it a problem dentist, that a dentist... My dentist, a female dentist, moved to Canada, so, you know. But was it a problem that a dentist could solve, or is it a problem that you're having that well, you just I, automatically go to well, a dentist Well, I had crazy. Got, gone to this female, and she was all right, you know, although she wanted to, you know, she, she, they always do unnecessary work. What was the problem that you had? What was the problem? What was the problem? I, I had something, you know, that needs to be kind of soldered in. Soldered in. in. <laughs> Go to a welder. Got a yeah. circuit board in your mouth. No, man. You know, it's a, a big make problem. What? I think, don't we all have problems? What? Though? Has Not to be like soldered you. Soldered in. Well, I, I, can you do it? What is it? Can you you got it. Wow, you never know with him. You get really turned on by the dentist visit. I used to kind of. I think the That's drill so like was weird. Better. But yeah. now does your dentist not work on lower teeth, just upper teeth? No, he, there was a dentist that put solution on my mouth. What were you chewing? Oh, yeah. so what do you call it? Yeah, here's no, I gave him a copy. I love Dick. His name was Dick, and he got and I had a, sh a show on the air, and I'm wearing crosses, and they're Jews, and I have this bloody show where I curse on the sh on the public access, and they just got together and they said we're gonna fuck her, and they did. 
She went to a dentist. Mm. No, and I, I got him off the put, chair. He, he put some kind of solution on her teeth yeah. that made him rot away. No. Yes. Yes. And you didn't sue him as a good Jew? He said, in three years, your teeth will fall out. And in three years, they did. And there's a time limit. I said, oh, no, my teeth are all right. But they, he knew exactly three years from the, that date they what fell out. What could they possibly put on your teeth yeah, that, that yeah. three years later? Yeah. Pop rocks. I'm telling you. What, did you not brush it off? I, I didn't he didn't put anything on your teeth. You're you're yeah. really yeah. That's like you're a little a paranoid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, you, that's what <laughs> you, know? you say, man. No, no. In that's three right. years, my teeth fell out. Yeah. Really. Dentists know how to hurt you and help you, and there's a lot of bad doctors and dentists out there. Relief, discomfort. He did not put yeah. anything on your teeth yeah. that made them. Yeah. I believe that. No. I don't think they did. I think you kind of. How do you uh, know that? Well, I don't. You Obviously, never got I don't. fucked up by a dentist? No. I don't think or there's any doctor? solution. It takes never three years. I'll tell you something. I've never gotten fucked up by a something. doctor or a dentist? Any dentist I've gone to has helped me. Yeah. Just the other week, yeah. just to, uh, last week, I had a toothache because a root canal um, wasn't completed the way it should have been 15 years earlier. So I went upstairs to a friendly dentist that's right in this very building, and he, uh, he fixed me up. And then I went to another dentist who did the root canal properly, fixed it up. I'm totally fine now. Wow. He helped me. How come they look, like look at, they, look, uh, look at these teeth. I went to Steinway. Look at them. <laughs> that was a piano. Uh, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> okay, so one bad one. Uh, 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 Ugh. Not all killers. I don't blame you, man. I look in the mirror, too, in Ick. You know, it's I, hard. I'm it's hard am, being ugly. I'm amazed by this obsession with dentists. I am, too. Uh, I, I've, no. never, I've never heard well, of somebody. How could someone obsessed with dentists have such awful teeth? How does that That's work? True. No, is it because it's, it's a problem. Uh, are you also obsessed with hairstylists? Do you like my new Paris Hilton? Wow, is that what you're going for? Yeah, I just I think you know the, the light like color. Calcutta. <laughs> the light color. <laughs> the light color. I thought, like you know, it's like being a blonde, you might as well really be a blonde because you know, like the you know, um, Jean Holy. Harlow and and you know, uh, Opie Hughes and D. You know, Snyder. D. Snyder. D. Snyder. Yeah, D. Snyder's a good analogy. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hey, it's cool. You look, look, you look like D. Snyder. Yeah. Well, well. You ought to look at toothpaste and sing. I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> I took it. I, it's too late. Oh. It's too late, baby. But you have to move on anyway, you know. And I'm, I'm really Anthony. I yeah. want to break out an old bit here. Really? I want to guess uh, Cindy Kane's age. Oh, thirty-five to the third power. Would you let me try to guess your age? Well, now there's sure. a certain oh, way. He has, he, okay. There's a certain way he does it, though. Ah, uh, he you actually. Remember? Oh. You know how how people chop down trees and they count the rings. And they could tell how old the tree was? Yeah. Opie uses a technique. Where, no, you won't be getting cut in half. Mm, might be a fun thing to do anyway. But No, uh, he has, he's got a way that, that um, like the counting of rings. What, he, he looks in your asshole? Well, I, I just have a feeling, man. Wow. He's into ass. He's into ass. No, no, you no, no, are no. good. Let's slow down here. But uh, I, I know uh, you're into ass, man. I, I look at the whole area. Look at the taint. Ah. The taint. The mostly, the, mostly ah. the taint area. He's a kinky guy. He's going to have to do yeah. yours through the Hubble telescope, Man, though. I, I love to show my ass. Do you? Well, yeah. see it. Can I guess I your remember age? the first time that I showed him my ass. It was like such a connection. If he looks at your taint, he can and then... And such a great ass. I wish I could put it on my head. Will you be honest if I guess your age that way? Yeah. Well, I, well let's see. Yeah, can let's see. Can we take say. it one minute at a time? All yeah. Right. Well, sure. I'm glad I took a bath. Oh, ah, one minute at a time. And we also want to see how Twato's doing. Oh, fine, man. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever seen Twato? Uh, oh, no. All these years hanging with us, you've no. never seen Twato? I don't think so. Maybe. Wow. I don't know. If I Twato did, I try to blank amazing. it out of my mind. Yeah. Has it gotten bigger or smaller or anything? Stay, stayed the same and stayed missed same. you guys. Missed us. I still, I still come into comedy clubs and say, hey, how's Twato? How's Twato? Really? I got a big fan of Twato. Man. Maurice, Maurice, the comic. You know Maurice? Oh, yeah. He's a co You can't say Maurice and comic in the same sentence. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, no, he's a good guy. Uh, he is he's not a good guy. He's right. not. He's not. He's not a good comic. Well, he loves Twato anyway. He listens to you guys. So yeah, yeah, he's a big fan. Now we we talked earlier about the um the the crosses. Are you Jewish or are you uh, Catholic? I'm both. You're both. Sometimes I'm Jewish and sometimes I'm not. You know, when when it gets to you know, sometimes I'm Jewish because the difference between Jew and Gentile. A Gentile, every time something good happens, he says, "Thank you, Jesus, man. I could, I wasn't smart enough to do this." But a Jew says thanks to themselves. Thank you. I did it myself. I, I showed up here. But the Gentile says thank you, Jesus, for, for bringing me So the me Jew's more realistic. Uh, uh, 
All right. Sometimes, though. Sometimes it's really great to have Jesus by your side. All right, listen. We want to take a look at Twaddle. I want, okay. to, I want to try to guess your age. And also, I hear... You didn't you, need him. I, 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 I've also heard that you have a song for us. Oh, a yeah. A welcome back song? Yeah, this really... Oh. Um, I, I read this uh, stepping out, man. In the in the launch room, man. <laughs> there you go. Man, and all of a sudden I started singing Opie and Anthony are back and I'm glad Not I'm... yet. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> Opie wants to guess your age. Okay, right. all right. Look at him, so serious. Well, well, what do we want to do first? The song, the age guessing, or by the way, my C D is at Tower Records in the comedy section at Lincoln Center. This is my new What well, do they know all. you put it it's there? Well tits my party. It's my party. What? Oh, let me see. Well, it's my party. Oh, instead of it's my party. Oh, it's oh. my party. Thank you, Jimmy. I had no clue what the, the hell that meant. All right. It's my party the, rock. My next CD, <laughs> I'll have your song. Her CD's the only oh, CD. Good. I had to bring four other CDs. <laughs> and this is the <laughs> other one. They wouldn't. They wouldn't have that one. But it's my, oh, the my cover. titties on fire. Yeah, the WalMarts wouldn't cover. Uh, wouldn't uh, pop out in their stores. Store. Right. It's only one uh, well, some of the tracks off uh, Sandy Kane's comedy CD. Let's see. George Clooney, Tits My Party, of course. Don't Be Cruel. I Want to Hold Your Gland. I Will Swallow Him. Jerry Seinfeld, Let Me Suck Your Cock. Oh, I remember the Jerry <coughs> Seinfeld song yeah, from uh, yeah. little, the old days. Little Penis, that. My Boyfriend's Black, and I Love Dick. Wow. <laughs> No, but they, they made me sticker the back, so I couldn't. Yeah. I, but right. tits my party. They're allowing the word tits, you know. All right. Very so good. Kids so, are only Should we play a track years. from her CD? Should she sing the Welcome Back song? Should we uh, guess her age? Help me out here, Andy. Whew. Well, I think uh, first we should just reintroduce ourselves with Twato. Oh, thanks. All right. I think that's... Uh, Twato, miss. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's see, that's uh, the negative. Just left if I would have taken that off, it wouldn't have been a good radio show. See? You see? You're right. See, I didn't have it taken off. Very smart. And you're still convinced it's what? A uh, shaving it's accident a, that it, went no, wrong? It's just something Dentist. that I was meant to to, uh, to have you guys exploit. Right. Tetherball. Yeah, but what is it? No, I, I'm just saying... It what do you think it is? I forget what you used to tell us. Um, I, I remember shaving once. You know, I was like a, that's right. a, a bottomless dancer... Yeah. And um, on 42nd Street and 8th Avenue at this place called Las Vegas Bar. And I said, you know, my pussy is too hairy. I said, yeah. And everyone, everyone's shaving their pussy those days. You know, they had that, you know, the, the, you know, the little girl type of pussy. So I said, let me shave. So I did. And I think that's what would happen. And I never shaved again. Because really? I swear that happened from shaving, but yeah, she, she I don't hasn't remember. shaved down there. In I don't a long think it was time. <laughs> so you have a big bush. It looks like someone's hiding in there. <laughs> a little yeah. little Vietnamese guys in your fucking snapper hiding there. Right, right, like your beard if you let it grow. <laughs> oh, you know, or your ball hair. It looks like a flesh mushroom sticking out yeah. of her pu- it is There you go, flesh mushroom. A fleshy mushroom. It looks like a character from Lord of the Rings. Why do you get somebody <laughs> yeah, to come in, really why do you get somebody to come in here and lick it for like a my fire? We've done it. Yeah, we yeah, really? the doctors. Yeah, they right, said I had cancer. Ooh, we've done it all. What's that? They all said I had cancer. <laughs> yeah. Huh? They all said I had cancer. It's no, a genital war. It's a genital war, but she yeah. will not admit it. Never. Right, it uh, is a genital war. Yeah, let's take the pants off. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at Twato. Hey, hey, you know, I don't know. My pussy's like uh, up for it, you know. But anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look at Twato. Words, you could, you, OB, in other words, you could tell my age by my... by. I'm not positive. I haven't done this in a while. Looking at your taint. I, I, at my pussy, you could tell my no, age? No, your taint. I learned early on in is my... Is it my asshole or my pussy? I it's learned your early, taint. I learned early so, on in my life that I had this talent, but I haven't done it in a while, so I don't uh, know. Oh, man, I don't know so if I got the skills. Is that why I'm here? <laughs> what? What do you think? What do you uh, think? Wait, wait, wait for Ricky. I want Ricky to see, too, okay, because uh, Ricky... Yeah, Ricky, 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 Ricky get, get in here, Ricky. Get in here. You gotta stay. Got my weapon on. All right. Okay. Ricky, this is... Sandy Kane. Uh, Sandy Kane has taken off her. What are you wearing? Leotards or something? Uh, no, they're they're um they're um jazz pants. Jazz pants. Jazz, jazz, jazz pants, pants, huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Woof. Okay. <sighs> Hate jazz. All right. <laughs> it's awful. Oh All my God! You're wearing like boots. Go go boots. Yeah, my go go boots. Go go boots. Jimmy, what would you what would you do if one of these things showed up at your apartment <laughs> <laughs> without a cock? Throw them out. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Zildo, I talk with Zildo with me. Okay. I know. We see. Uh, uh, she has a vibrator that she talks to. It's it's yeah. it's Dildo. The name's you Dildo. Or talking to the mic. You got to talk into the mic there. Talking okay. to the mic. All right. All right. Your vibrating dildo is just Look, slowly that, uh, dildo is rotating so around the room. So happy to see room. O and A, right? Look at you. Oh, oh, nice. I think the batteries are dead. Switch on rivers would look like without all that plastic surgery. <laughs> 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 okay, <laughs> she's older than me. That's you know, probably yeah. Jones. All right. Well, I'm gonna okay. take that. Okay. Someone generation. is older than me. All right. So I love Joan. Let's up. Uh, let's take the. This is Joan Rivers. Can we talk? 
Let's take a look at Twato. Okay. Oh, we, we definitely want to see. <coughs> Show it. Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy. Have you, have you seen you've seen? Yeah, uh, I don't yeah, care. Uh, Pull your pants down. down. We've all seen Pull your naked. Down. Move yeah. your hand. Yeah, Pull we got to see that. <laughs> <laughs> It's gotten bigger. Oh, you should see like Rich. Gene Wilder. <laughs> it looks like a brain in a jar in a lab. Oh, Rich yeah. threw up. <laughs> wow, look at all the hair that's piling out of those. Hey, you know, it's better than your performance on Liz Comedy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Touche. Wow. Here we go. Why don't we invite all the interns in? They're all brand yeah, they new. Gotta yeah, you guys, they gotta you gotta come on, Twato. guys. You've oh. never seen Twato. This is a special day on the Opie Day wow. program. Man. Look at all the hair that's coming out of the side of your panty. That's why I shaved, and that's how I got Twato. I have a very hairy pussy. Oh. Wow. And very well in dad pussy, too. Do you have big you know. lips? Look. Let's see him. Show lips. it. I can't see it. Yeah, pull wow. your pants yeah, on. Yeah, show me the side. Stop. Oh. When did you become shy? My God. Yeah, you used to show take your panties side. off all the time. Let me, let's show, you, show, you, show your vag from the other side without the... Without the oh, yeah, here. Look. Here's the, the, the good side. Oh. I, I can't see it. Pull it aside. This is good side. Pull it aside so I can see the lips. Okay, a, a, a close up. Pull it all the way aside. Uh, you know, that is awful. Daddy, pull it all the way aside. Is pussy your pussy going here. through chemo or something? What, what's going on down there? Looks like Ron Howard's head. <laughs> <laughs> sort of wispy. Yeah, you got you to show. Hairs. You got to show uh, Twato for the boys who've never seen it. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, right. here's Twato, guys. Yeah. Take a look. These guys are very oh, young. Look at that again. Oh, oh dude. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Yeah, Rich, look. Oh, Boss, come on, look. I I Rich, know. look at it. Uh, <laughs> look at it. Look at it, Rich. Have it set to He's gagging again. No, it's really a heart shape. Remember Valentine's Day? Oh, it in a heart? Oh, what, oh my God. What That's, the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what is that? Jesus, put an APP on that. Fucking. <laughs> Rich, can't take Rich, it. would you suck that into your mouth really slow? Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's Somebody the actually just, sucked you know, on that. Somebody's fucking that? It's like a speed Nobody, bump no, by the pussy. I haven't had sex in a long time. Oh, had, I can't imagine why. No, Look at that thing. <laughs> really. Mr. Paul Paul O. Paul O sucked on that. Who? Paul O. Remember Paul O from uh, Ron and Fez? Yeah. That fat guy yeah. with the fat stomach? He got he on his knees on and he that. sucked he, on... He did not. He sucked on oh. Twato. I isn't sucked that, his dick, but he didn't suck Twato. Isn't there one in the back door, too? Yeah. Yeah, you have a hemorrhoid. Yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. happy about this. Her <laughs> pussy looks like a rubber glove hanging, and she's uh, happy. Uh, uh. What can I do, Rich? What am I going to get? Get it myself? cut off. No, no, That's what, what everybody does yeah, with those. Yeah, but then I couldn't be on here and expose you. You could take it around in a jar with you. <laughs> yeah. No, just no, not no. I mean, I like it. I like my twato. Oh, usually. I have fans because of twato. Usually, usually that sparkle thing looks really hot on women. <laughs> what do you got? Some sparkly <laughs> stuff on you? Yeah. <laughs> looks, <laughs> looks like Diana Ross threw up on her. Uh, uh, you uh, fucking, Diana Ross? You gotta. Sh can you show sparkle. him? You gotta show him no, the Roy. You gotta see the Roy, dude. You have to. You're part of the crew. You have to see the Roy. Yeah. Yeah. Please. You I don't think it's out, man. Oh, let's just see. Hey, Please. Sandy, would you do something for us? Sure. Would you smell uh, the back of Rich Boss's ear? It's not that bad. It smells it's like nice. grape jelly. Like grape jelly. Oh, what is it? It smells like it's grape jelly. He's just cologne he wears, and it yeah. smells like grape jelly. It's yeah. stupid. So he's going to rub behind his ear, and then you smell his finger. <laughs> That's all. It smells like grape okay. jelly. Look, his hands are clean. This is yeah. no gag. He's just smell. shit, maybe. All right. No, no. no it's not, it doesn't have shit behind his ear. Okay. okay. What? You know, never know. Okay. Well, get the mic up there for them. Okay. He's drooling. Oh no, no, really. Ah, it's disgusting. Ah. Oh man. But you know, it smells like my own asshole. I guess an asshole smells like an asshole. Boy, we got a new soundboard. Hey, how do you give an asshole in suspense? <coughs> I'll tell you later. Oh, oh it's oh, that killer. Is disgusting, Rich. Yeah, so you gotta try no, it. get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I, I won't, I'll, Ricky I'll never took it. Yeah, Ricky. Oh, Ricky, Ricky oh, get in here. Ricky, Ricky, over here. Oh, 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 everyone oh, else has taken it, Ricky. Everyone else has taken it. This yeah. is. It's, it's not, not that bad. We'll explain this to the new listeners in a second. It's not that bad, Ricky. Wait, get the mic on, Ricky. Get the mic on, Ricky. Smell. You got it in here. Oh, shit. It's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what it, Sandy, what did it smell like? Like an asshole. Was it? Really? Yeah. 
Oh, uh, you rich? I thought me and you Jewish. You sure? It's, no. that micro- that, me. This makes my ear pew fly. pew. It's yeah. only my left ear. I though. always knew you were an asshole. Now I know it. He's okay. got oh. what do you got? A little tumor? What? How do you explain it again, Rich? I was shaving behind my ear when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to touch anything. Ew, it's disgusting. Yeah, yeah. no. I, explain, you know what? Explain it for the new listeners. Yeah, well, I don't know what they say. It's like from a cyst. You yeah. get a cyst, uh, but so it's the it, cyst isn't out. It's like just, I, mean, I had a cyst taken out. Listen. Wow. It, it builds it up you. behind his ear, See, everyone has and he makes people smell it every once in a while, and that's the reaction we get every single time. <laughs> and when you I, get it from her, you know it's bad. Just between her showing that and grossing him out, and him making her smell that, and him grossing It's him like out. two <laughs> evil superheroes <Yeah>. like, <laughs> battling with their powers really? of disgust. Oh, I really thought that was his asshole. No, I thought that's what he did. you got to show the roid. Show him the roid. Oh. He doesn't believe it. Show yeah. him the roid. Show him the roid. Strike back. You should have had next to him. <laughs> yeah, strike back. Okay. That I, um, just oh, boy. Awful. Come Sandy, on, Sandy, when did you get so shy? Yeah, show him the so roid. Rip those panties off cocaine? like a man. <laughs> You got any cocaine? No, I mean... You uh, got any cocaine? No, <laughs> you know, low coke. Show coke up. really makes me horny. Yeah? Uh, yeah. All right, make sure there's none in the building. <laughs> I, can, I can curse, man. Ah. Anthony always said, shut up, shut up. Now, now you not. can curse. I can say, fuck you. Yep. All right. Okay. All right, here we go. All right, wait, no, oh. t- I, I've seen it. Let's show to Rich. I, show Rich you know, now. You're, you know, I got to tell you, your ass is held up. I know. Why? Let me see. Look at no, her. I her her hey, I look pretty good, don't I? Let's see yeah, the ass. Very good. From the neck down? Well, so I would start from the belly button. Hell, held up. It looks like Keith Richards' ass. I know. <laughs> Dude, I Jesus. Got I got beautiful titties. <laughs> Sandy, Sandy. You want a titty fuck? Sandy, turn around a minute. Let me, let, let's see your ass. Look at the hair. Wait, Whoa. like poking out. Oh, you oh. weren't in South Beach a year and a half ago, were you? All right, here we go, Rich. No, show oh, the... Where's the hemorrhoid? Spread them. No, you, you open it and spread them. No oh, one can yes, see that. See Not over here. Show Show Rich. I don't think the hemorrhoids Just out. show it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the hemorrhoids oh, out. Is it? Oh, there's something strikes back on. with the hemorrhoid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Boss goes down. Her evil powers yeah. have overtaken Rich's <laughs> smelly ear. Ooh, that's a smelly ear. Okay. Oh, fuck no, I don't think my hemorrhoids <laughs> out, man. It's, oh. you know, you're, just, you're just gonna see a crack. There's something in there, fucking like living. Go, 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 yeah. go, 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 I see something go. in there. Right. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Mary. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How old am I? How old am I? Oh, uh, you got to look at the tent. I have to do the whole, you know, thing. Maybe How can you look it? at that yeah. without, fuck, without getting sick? That hairy hemorrhoid. Yeah, well. well, what's wrong with my ass? So why don't you take your pants off well, and look at your ass? No, I bet I have a nicer ass than you. You better. You're abroad. Hey, I'm abroad, but, uh, uh, you know. Am I going to try to guess her age? Actually, I got a nice ass. Should we guess the age? Let's see. Let's see your ass. Come on. Looks like oh. Rutherford B. Hayes with a cold Let's sore. See. <laughs> 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 Let's see your ass, Rich. Come on. You have a, you have a nice body. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, God, I feel <laughs> awful now. Isn't see, now like it's your dick, too. Uh, Let's see. I got a picture of my dick. I wouldn't let you You look at my dick for good. Why, why not? Uh, What's wrong with me? When was the last time you had some sex there, Sandy? L- too long. Is anyone, you know? How long? Steve's saying. What? No. Steve, yeah. <laughs> Steve. Uh, Steve was you... just saying today, uh, right. Sandy. <laughs> why not? Why, why not? do you bang Maurice? Why, why do you bang Maurice? Well... All right. Usually, no, I'm not going to say I right, like white you. men. I, I just do. Sandy yeah. Kane. Usually depends. Though. Sandy, Sandy, I'll guess. Usually like white oh meat, uh, white dick. Uh, right. I like white dick. Uh, Sandy, I'll guess your age, but, you know, I need a look. Oh Got to see the taint. Got to oh. go over there where Hawk Now, is. the taint. No, no, no. Don't get too close. <laughs> the taint is the area between your your. Yeah, you're going to uh, have to bend way down. Ass. It's that little bridge, the land bridge of flesh between your pussy and your uh, your butt. It taint pussy and a taint butt. It just taint. Uh, <laughs> oh. All right. I okay. So so I have to like lift my leg. Whoa. Oh, that thing looks like a tumor. Hey, people used to pay for that for me. Yes. They still do. No, you gotta kind of bend over from the rear and show Opie. Wait, you're still you making gotta... money off your body? Did I just hear that? Well, you know, um, I'm yeah. still. I mean, I'm. I'm not, I don't do anything else. On television, I'm on television, public access, channel 34, 110, RCN. I got a million... And your warts on what, 35? What? Nothing. That no, was a good no, line. Uh, that was pretty good. My what? <laughs> that was a good line. My twat? Yeah. Your, no. Your cancer no, breathing wart. Oh, my wart. You're on 34. My, I never warts show it on... Only here. I always cover oh, it. Oh, that thing you is... see it, Rich? I saw it. It just looks like a brain. Man, is yeah. it bigger? 
It looks it like looks a brain. A bigger. It, looks it does. Like a brain. Brain. I don't remember it being that big. Yeah. yeah. It's no. grown. Well, it's I think it's really, grown. Yeah, it's really? Grown. It's uh, grown. That wart yeah. should be in real. That's the biggest venereal wart on the planet. The biggest what? Venereal wart on the planet. Venereal. <laughs> venereal wart? I'm, venereal I'm, wart. Look, I'm, I'm puking already. That's the biggest viral wang Not, I've ever hey, seen. What's the worst in your ear? Venereal wart? Yeah, venereal but I could wash my ear. Your, your ear smells like an asshole. So, anyway. No, really. Ooh. You know, I bet okay. she was sexy in her day. Go ahead. Not her. Wow. Uh-oh. President's uh, wife? Yeah, Bush's wife. Oh. All right, let's. Well, uh, maybe if I had a face Sandy, lift, we got to focus again. Should uh, do a before and after. Like, am, give I, me a face uh, am I guessing? Right? Am I guessing your age? Or are we going to do a song? I don't care either way now. Okay. The moment is almost past, Anthony. Really? Uh, am I guessing your age? Go show ahead. him your taint. Okay, show, so stop well, talking and show him. How do I do it? You have to bend over and pull the, your panties down. Yeah. Right. Pretend you're there at a you job now, interview. Now pull that out of your ass crack, and now now bend over more. There you go. Oh, you got a view. Now spread them a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Open it. Move those headphones. Okay. Jesus. Move the headphones. He can't see. I don't have him. Oh. Oh, no, they're on the Jesus. console. There you go. All right, Opie, take a look. Uh-huh. Sandy, turn more towards... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. you got to bend no, down no, a little no. more. Oh, God, Point your do butt. I would anyone but you guys. I there you go. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You uh-huh. haven't said that before. Right. Uh-huh. Opie's studying. Uh-huh. Um, Dr. Studying. Hughes. He's wow. studying. Can you spread? Uh-huh. you got to spread it just a little bit. Spread a little more, Sandy. Spread it. Don't be shy. Yeah, Open it. Him. Oh, there you go. Oh you're God. a naughty Hold girl. Him. Go to the dentist. Hold him. Oh, God, that's unbelievable. Wait, can you open it so... Oh, man. Yeah, open I it. I do this on my own show. I just want to... All right, all right. Ross has to see that. All right. You got it? All right. Let him have a great fucking ass. Let him see. He doesn't think it's nice. Show, open it up for him. Yeah, it's a really open nice. Open it, Sandy. We, we got to open it. Look <laughs> how nice. Yes, open man. it for him with both yeah. hands. Yeah, look, look, look how nice that is. Oh, Jesus. Her ass has a clit. All right, I um, hmm. uh, I'm a little confused with this one, Anthony. I gotta tell you, yeah, yeah, I'm a little confused. Uh, we usually, I know, isn't it gorgeous? Well, we usually do this with uh, no, women that are a lot, a, lot younger, a lot younger, a lot younger, a lot of hair in there. Oh, a lot of hair. That's the, really, that's there's a lot of hair in my ass. Yeah, that's uh, distracting. Uh, uh-huh. uh, <laughs> distracting my powers, Anthony. Yeah. Well, maybe listen. I'll do the show again and shave. Right. I um, I'm thinking that this year. We're in '05, right? I think it, I think you. Uh, this is a big year for you, age-wise. I'm not sure if it's past or it's coming up, mm. Mm. but you got a milestone birthday coming up. No, oh. mm. really? Or, Is that true? Or, or just passed? I don't they're, know. No, they're all milestones. I, but I think it's a it's a big birthday. Really? Yeah. What are you thinking? Of? <laughs> I mean, because we always do this within a year, right, Anthony? <laughs> yeah. Because you never know when the actual birthday. One that's, year, that's give or little, take. Right. That, that's a little rough. Am I right about a milestone birthday? Not really. No. Oh no. My powers might fail me today, Anthony. Okay. But maybe she's not going to admit it. That's true. Right. I could lie. I'm a Do you woman. have a license or something that I could uh, compare the age? That yeah, I... yeah, I have something. You do? Mm-hmm. Where is it? Uh, Give it well, uh, well, uh, in my pocketbook. Uh, 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 it's in your pocketbook? Uh, yeah. You will definitely show after I give the age? Don't lie. Lie. Why not? She, she's a, she's a woman. She might lie. Yeah, I'm not, not a woman. At this point, it doesn't matter. Disaster. Why not? Well, who cares how old you are? You got bumps grown all over you. People yeah. aren't gonna go. I'm not banging her because she's yeah, 82. Right. Can I see the? You know, can I no, just a lot see... of young guys want me, baby. <sighs> it's like fucking you. It's like reading Braille. Can I see the front again? The front. Show yeah. the oh, I can't. Look no, the, the other side. I don't need to see that because that's. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I think. Uh, just tape and rip. Oh. All right, I'm going to guess, uh, uh, I think that you're turning, or have turned, uh-huh. the big 6-0. 60. Mm-hmm. 60? Is he right? No? Why are you giving us that look? Like I nailed it. No, no you didn't nail it. No, you didn't. I, yeah, you didn't. No? No. Nah. Look at her. She's giving me a look like, you son of a bitch. No, I never would. Am I? No, I'm not. All right, well, how could you prove it? I have ID. No, I have ID. Yeah. Can we see your ID? And all, all, all I can say is I have never seen a 60-year-old body like this. No, oh. they're usually better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I have my... I don't I th- know where's my card. I think you're going to be 60 years old. Mm-hmm. No? No. I think you look younger, but I'm just going from the area. That's how I do this. The part. area, this this is the best part. Oh, uh-uh. no, not really. Well, anyway, you don't. Can think I see the ID? Better than my face. Show me the ID. So you're yeah, show me the ID. Big deal. 
Uh, but I'm not, you know, I'm not. Oh I mean, boy. Uh oh. It's like what the cops have to deal with. Show me ID. No, I, I. But now I don't. No, have I, it. you want to see my ID? Yeah. yeah. What, what it's it's in the other room. Uh, can someone bring it? Okay. In that voice, can you just say, "Oh, you're a cantaloupe." Oh, you're a cantaloupe. <laughs> Spoils everything. Hey, did you bang uh, Phil Spector? Yeah. Really. Live to tell the tale. Well, yeah. I remember when we were off that uh, you yeah. made the New York Post. It was a big deal. You're yeah, in the, New, New York she's, Daily News. She's uh, Daily News. She's, she's part of the investigation, the murder investigation. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Uh, Phil Spector. Uh, D.A. Sortino and uh, uh, and all the cops out there. Why would you be part of the investigation? fucking cops. Because um, he raped me at gunpoint. Oh, he did? Yeah. How, how interesting. <laughs> I mean, it's just water to forget it. <laughs> Why didn't you just show him that That's wart? Terrific. Well, you know, uh, I don't think I had it in those days. Phil Spector you. allegedly yeah. raped you at gunpoint? Yeah. So how did that happen? Tell us the story. Well, I was working at the Improv um, as a singer. He song. hated your comedy that much. <laughs> no, I wasn't a comic. I was a singer. singer. Songwriter. Were, okay, so you were a singer. Yeah, <laughs> singer. And um, singer, yeah. I played guitar and I wrote original songs. What year are we looking at? What uh, What year was this, Sandy? What? Oh, that was... Um... Oh, my God, Aunt. I nailed it. Did you? Hold on. So why are you lying, Sandy? Sandy, I nailed it. You gotta give me props. And you say right on your form here, date of birth, birth and age. Well, here's the problem. She gives her age as forty nine. Uh huh. Forty nine. <laughs> Sandy. Forty nine. You gotta shoot a little higher well, than Jack that. Jack Benny said thirty nine. Forty nine. <laughs> I wouldn't have believed that eleven years ago. All women give the fake age with the nine. Right. Girls in their early to mid-30s will always say 29. Yeah. Right. But So she gives her age as 49, but she gives her date of birth as... Can I give you date of birth out? Sure. Doesn't matter, right? September 16th, 1945. 45. I yeah. nailed it. 1945 isn't 60 years old. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes, it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sandy, you've been lying so long that you don't even know how uh, old you are. Yeah. Oh, 45. No, it, it was... Hey, look at my ID. Well, then the ID says uh, 916... I, I made a mistake. 1952. Right. 52? Yeah. But you made a mistake? No, you didn't. No, I made a mistake. There are three <laughs> different dates No, I made, no I made a mistake. There's no way she's uh, five years older than me. I'm going to be 48. So she's wow. got to be... Uh, in, in your 80s. <laughs> hey, I have ID, man. It's a New York ID. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. but they asked for date of birth. And no, you wrote I made down... a fucking mistake. <laughs> oh, you on did. your age? Who makes a mistake on when they were born? Well, I said 49. Okay, huh? I said 49. Oh, I, I think I, I'm gonna, I, 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 I make a mistake and write 1945 down as a date. Because I wrote 49 too, and that was a lie, right? So how old I are don't you? Know. Really? How old are you? It's what you read the ID, right? Well, how old are you? It's, what if it's it younger say? than sixty, I'd be yelling and screaming that I'm younger than sixty and give 19... the age. So what's the age? Nineteen fifty-two. So uh, you're she fifty-three 53. years old. Fifty-three. That's what she's saying. I'm fifty-two. You're not fifty-two. You're sixty. <laughs> you're fifty-nine, <laughs> and it, and it bothers you. It's okay. You're you're you look great. You look great. You look great for sixty. I mean, stop. Nobody. I'm just Listen. saying, man. Did you read the Did you read the ID? It's a New York ID. How would ID? I get an ID? No, how would, not ID. How that would I get a government where, where, ID? Was, hold on, where's Steve? That's not. That a, that's a, a weird ID. Yeah. That's yeah. one of those IDs you get in Times Square. The type yeah. of ID you can buy in Eighth Avenue. No, you can't. It's a government <laughs> ID, it? man. Check it. Usually, like 19 or 20 year olds get IDs like that, not Wait. a 60 year old yeah. woman. No, no. That, that is a government <laughs> ID. It's a, Steve. What kind of ID was that? It's a government ID. New York government. ID. I, it's it's some kind of New York State ID, but you can get fake ones of those oh, anywhere. Bullshit, <laughs> man! Ooh. Bullshit! Yeah. You got man! Ooh! Yeah! Ooh ha! Ooh! You know. Ooh ah! But you know, I mean, you could believe what you want to believe. It's okay, Sandy. You, look, right. you look great for your age. Stop. Thank you, man. You really do. I'm not. We're not trying to trash you. I'm looking for sixty. Look at this ID. A New York. What does it say on it? New York State lettering. Benefit Identification uh, Identification Card. Oh, identification. That is a real ID, man. Is that for? Uh, Food stamps. Oh, food stamps? Yeah. You don't get food stamps. I do so, man. What kind of joke? How do you think I live? 
And we thought you lived off your body. <clears throat> well, I do, too. Food There's stamps. a little bit here, a little bit there. I need so you have roaches. roaches in your apartment? Definitely. You have roaches? Oh, definitely. Rats? Do you have rats? Rats, definitely. You don't have rats. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, not yet. You have roaches, you, why don't you come up? Maybe I will. Never happened. You do I have roaches, though. There are a few roaches in my apartment. Yeah. Do you have, Doesn't like, everyone have roaches? Do you have, like, a red control apartment from, like, 1920 or something? No, I live in the best building in New York, 400 West 43rd yeah. Street. It's the entertainment building. What? Where? What? 400 West 43rd Street. What is the apartment right 6K. Right down for down you down guys down out there. Yeah. No, I live yeah. on 400, 43rd and 9th. So they did a crib segment up in my, in my yeah, farm, yeah, remember? Yeah, roaches. All right. right. When Pam Anderson and Kid Rock were on that day. That was a lot of fun. It was yeah. roach infested, your apartment. It wasn't that. Yeah, yeah it was pretty right. roach infested. Okay. How can you live like that? How can well, they live like that? <laughs> well, I try to, you know, kill as many as possible, but uh, how yeah. can they live like that? <laughs> it's a mess, your apartment, right? No, it's not. Okay. It depends. Has your, your little uh, boxy room. I know you moved since then. But you had a stupid little room. Well, Sandy, why don't we get to some songs? Okay. All right. Uh, so we, w- you're going to sing karaoke? Yeah. All right. Do we have I, your uh, your this your is track? Right, you know, I, you I saw the all, ad. You saw the ad. I saw for the this. ad all over the walls of New York, and I was so inspired. Okay. And I'm so the happy. Yeah, that to we're be, back uh, that doing radio. I am so happy you're back, man. Sandy, so we. This is so therapeutic. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can curse, man. No, uh, oh, uh, you know, Anthony, you've always inspired me to say shut up a lot. And oh, I just, well, that's what I usually shut say. Shut up. Now. Shut up. I mean, just because I was on public access. Oh, well, man, now, now you're, a big, you're you know, a big star. We all know that. <laughs> Does the wart sing back up? <laughs> Shouldn't a frog be sitting on this? <laughs> <laughs> this is like a... Are we? <laughs> you're not so hot yourself, well, man. He, yeah, but he but knows look it. at you, baby. You're not the hottest looking guy in the fucking world. I am. I mean, you're not an Opie use. I mean, come on. But I'm hot. Well, yeah, yeah where? Uh-oh. You have hot girlfriends, I know that. Ooh. You have a big dick in there, but do you? Are you well in down? It's pretty nice. It is nice? Yeah, well, you've seen it. it. Like to, I like to compliment Norton's cock. Yeah. yeah. I'm what? Norton's <laughs> cock's publicist. Yeah. <laughs> you have a big dick? It's not big. It's okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, hey. oh. I should guess your penis sizes. All right. No matter what, in front of you, it's gonna look like radiation was thrown on us. Um, you, you should get this story. I, all I saw was Motley Crue helps search for missing fan. I have no idea what that's all about, Eric. Uh, jump, jump on that story for tomorrow. I guess one of Motley Crue's fans are missing, and the band is helping. Maybe they thought it was hiding in one of yeah, fucking yeah. Tommy Lee's condoms. <laughs> look at this. Co- Check Tommy Lee's pool. <laughs> look at his nose job. That guy's God a nose damn job. it, that was the joke. <laughs> <laughs> I go for the dick joke, and you go for the news story. I stink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got your music, guys, uh, Sandy. Okay. Are you guys ready for Sandy King? <laughs> okay, right, this is for no, you. No, but regardless. And Dildo loves you guys. Right. By the way, That's when we go great. to break, someone uh, go find the Sandy Kane uh, Drew Boogie remix. We're going to go to break with that. But Drew oh, Boogie. Yeah. The, yeah. Time, yeah. the time they stuck their here, finger Derek. in my asshole. And, yeah. I, yeah. and you screamed. Yeah, with, with a, a preparation yeah. age. All right, here yeah. we go. Here's your music, Sandy Okay, King. here we go. Sing. All right, Sandy Concentrate. Get in the moment. Okay, all right. Oh. It's just like watching American Idol. Oh, I know. Hey, la, hey, la, Opie and Anthony are back. Hey, la, hey, la, Opie and Anthony are back. Everybody. Hey, la, hey, la, O and A are back. Hey, la, hey, la, O B and Anthony are back. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> I'm so oh. glad O B and Anthony are back. Now I can show the hemorrhoid in my ass crack. Stop it! <laughs> I'm so glad Opie and Anthony are back. I can show my titties and the hemorrhoid in my ass crack. Wow. Oh, and they are back. Oh, God damn it, are you fucking with me? 
They're on XM Satellite Radio. Now hold my fucking hand over there. Right, now yourself. I can say now fuck forward, and corn and pussy, you know. He's got a real big cock. I'm so glad O and A are back. Oh, no. Oh, I can show my pussy and my hemorrhoid in my ass back. Yeah, hallelujah, they're back. Oh, the world won't be the same. Yeah, let's smoke some crack. Opie and Anthony are back. I'm so glad they're back. I can show my ass crack. They are back. What have we got here? Oh, they are back. <laughs> what is your I need a dentist. Oh. I need a dentist. Uh-huh. <laughs> I need a dentist. Uh-huh. So if we want to book you, do we call who? Broadway Danny Rose? <laughs> oh wow. I was, you know, I was, uh, Ro- Ro- Michael Musto said that. She's something out of Broadway Danny Rose. Oh, Who's Michael right. Musto? Well, Michael I Musto from the Village Voice? That gay guy? Right now. I, I got to give her credit, man. We threw the poker chips at her. I did whatever. And she I'm barely used flinched. to men. She's I'm, barely flinched. Hey, remember, I'm a... I worked on 42nd Street and 8th Avenue for a long time, so... At the peep shows, right? Yes. Yeah, she did like that So now? I stuck, stuck my vibrator in my asshole, so you guys are, uh... Ooh. I'm used to it. I'm oh. used to it. Hey. Does this sound do anything for you? Oh! <laughs> 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 All right. Oh God, I needed that. I thought it was gonna be uh, my, my when you stuck your finger in my ass, and I went. Ah, I can't believe it. Oh, okay, so, it's all right, man. It's it's all you know. I, it's over. It's how over. It's too too late, baby. Why, how come you don't have a black wig? She, you, she should get her, like a black wig. Why? That, I don't know. Just you like black better? Yeah, I just think that you look like so, <laughs> you have a nice black wig. Oh, I'll, get I'll get one. Style. I'll get one. I have all different colors. I have all different colors, man. Mr. Dilda, how you doing? I mean, my batteries are out, but he, he's really Act glad to twato. be here. He's glad to be here, man. All right? Oh, my gosh. She's talking to her dildo again. Okay. What's wrong with that? Hey, boss, you smell a that dick, dildo? A dick I, is a dick. Are you kidding me? I'd rather smell my ear. Hey, we still haven't seen your boobs. You still do uh, breast oh, tricks? Sure. Uh, breast tricks? All right. That's Opie, cool. man, the whole nine yards. All right. Let's whip those out. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, there they are. <laughs> They're <laughs> For a sixty-year-old woman, though, they're not bad. Let's let's give what? her some props where props are due, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Props. I'm not sixty, man. Yes, you are. I made out with a broad like you in South Beach. Dude, you're not sixty. The girls don't wear tassels anymore on their why do nips. You, yeah, why do you have the tassels? Tassels. I know. She has no nipples. Her, look at her tits with the veins. They look like road maps. But <laughs> what? What's with the Let tassels? Let me tell you, I've had veins all my life on my Put tits. Visine on your tits. <laughs> <laughs> why visine eyes? <laughs> oh, I don't what, get it. I don't get it. What's with the tassels? Clear eyes. What, what's wrong with tassels, man? <laughs> tassels are so 19. No, they're not. They're bur- are your tits hey, graduating from high no, school. I'm a, I am a, I, I'm a burlesque. <laughs> no, my, my, you know, I'm a burlesque artist. Burlesque. Yes. What year is this? It's burlesque is happening now, Anthony. No, You're in your it's, mind. No, there's a lot. There's burlesque happening, man. Ugh. It's it's that's the, like throw your tits up in the air. You just graduated. <laughs> <laughs> There's sequins and those tassels yeah, that are hanging from to... like your curtains or something uh, in oh, a museum. Uh, oh jeez! Oh, be careful! Spinning. You're gonna give yourself a black eye. They don't want. They refuse to move it. I, oh, oh, they're. Like <laughs> She's awful. <laughs> <laughs> She's right, hey, do you girls. get paid for entertainment? Like, I mean, you get paid anywhere? Oh no, I have to pay people to entertain. No, I'm serious. Like, do you do shows? Do you do like personal appearances? What? Yeah, I do. do you, you know, do? why? Do you, will you have a booking for me? Uh, do I have a booking for you? Fucking Michael Eisner couldn't get you a booking. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, okay. Well, hey. But no, I don't I don't do comedy sing? What do you do? Well, like, I do. I, mean, I, well, I have a public access show. It's it was on last night, man. Yeah, it's well, a good show to watch. Yeah, yeah it's Jersey. a good show to watch. With the, Sandy, you know. I, I, we like your, uh, your your TV show. Oh yeah, oh great, thank you. Oh, do you get what? paid for that? No, I pay to do it. You pay to do it with the welfare with the uh, food stamps. Yeah, money? yeah. Yeah, but if you get advertisers, don't you get money? No, there's no advertising on public access, but oh. it's on ten years in July. So for real? Yeah. 
Oh, so your CD sales must go up to like. I don't know. It just came in. I just uh, the um, I just got Tower last week, so we'll see what happens. What? Oh yeah, everyone go buy my CD. Tits my party at Tower Records, Lincoln Center, like uh, in the comedy like section. This week, okay, say like. This week I'm at McCurdy's in Sarasota, Florida. Could I see your access uh, show from there? No, it's only in Manhattan. What are you doing? A gig in a restaurant? What the fuck is McCurdy's? But it's a comedy club. It's oh. a good club. Yeah. Sarasota. Uh, can, will you take me with you? I would I take you? With, no. <laughs> only unless you, only if you can't make it with me to the Boston Comedy Connection Friday, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. We should take a break, Anthony. No, huh? I just think Let's that you guys, you know. What's that? You know, um, I think it's a very, very big thing with older uh, women and younger men. They go very good together. I agree. Yeah, they, they really, uh, it's it's a big, it's a big thing now. What is? Older, uh, older women and younger uh, men. But the older women have now. to have money or something. To... Yeah, well, I have yeah. my food stamps. Cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll find a thing, well, guys. We always just, eat, man. We'll jump in at the bit. Lonely yeah. woman yeah. with food stamps and vaginal cancer seeks male dancer for fun. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I guarantee yeah. Maurice would bang her. Oh yeah. All right, we're going to play the Sandy Kane remix that Drew Boogie did. Yeah, very good. Um, Sandy might be here. I knew these titties would relax everybody, right? Well, they did something. Yeah, they throw up. You just. Okay. Right, listen, you should talk with that ear. Ooh. You really sucked, man. Ooh. You know, I was like, I'll, I'll never forget that moment, Rich. Ooh. I'll always remember I smelt you. Ooh. Yeah. R- right? I mean, yeah. when you smell someone, it's 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 it's, it's, it's intimate, man. It's Superpowers. intimate. Superpowers. <laughs> I'll be thinking about you tonight and having a wet dream. Ooh. That really? Was that rich force, man. Pew. This, in 20 years. I was going to say, this No, my, my pussy still gets wet. Oh, real wet. I mean, she's still a lot. Oh, come on, That's man. That's no, cancer she gets, leakage. She is, oh, my <laughs> God. She's hotter than ever. She's hotter <laughs> than ever, poor... <laughs> My pussy. Ooh. All right. Okay. I eat a bush. Yeah, no, now the headphones are in your bra. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you've done. You, oh, she's a you, mess. Look what you did, Sandy. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, she's... Uh, nope. Would you let Eric feel your breasts? He's never... No. Hey, Derek. Come on. Someone's got to feel those. <laughs> Derek didn't see it. Yeah, Derek is the only one that can compare Santa Kane's boobs to the fine boobs of Sunset Thomas ah, from yesterday. Yes. Derek, I think it's only uh, I agree. It's only fair. The boss wants oh. you, Derek. Get in here. Look at Nathaniel yeah. and Danny laughing like I'm a step closer to that seat. Why won't Derek come in here to, to feel uh, Santa Kane's boobs? I, I read his list. He goes, I'm not touching well, hey, those OB, fucking wh- things. Why don't, why don't you touch one? <laughs> no. You got to no. check one. No. Give me gloves, I'll feel them. Yeah, we have uh, rubber gloves up there. All right, we got yeah, gloves. Hey, come on. I want to check yeah. for lumps. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is very clinical. Uh, Jimmy, there's some uh, surgical gloves. I want to gloves say that, that he touched my titty. Here. Ah, look at him. Ah, <laughs> ah. It's, it's check for lumps. It's obvious if, if she has I mean, lumps or not. He just didn't age really like, special, and he's going to touch my, my tit. Ooh. God. Sandy, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Who was president? <laughs> how many states were there? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know it's funny how when, when I lost my Virginia, it was just I didn't, you know, I didn't even know. I just, oh, how is, old were you about? Um, about um, Shut up, twenty. Twenty? Yeah, a late bloomer. A late bloomers. Yeah. That's why I always wore late bloomers. Forty. <laughs> <laughs> LOL. <laughs> you you <laughs> lost right, your. Vir- All right, come over here. Let me feel she, one. She lost her virginity when uh, Kennedy was assassinated. Kennedy. Oh, what do you think? What you, you look like? It so seems like that hurt. Oh no, you don't hurt you. Sixty-five, actually. Sorry. What do you think? Jimmy, there's something right there. <laughs> what? There's something right there. Oh, oh here we go, man. Jimmy is giving Sandy Kane a breast exam. There's something this right This is really yeah, effing really creepy. Ow, there's I, something growing in there. I'm not kidding. Let's try this one. Come here. Uh, uh, you sure? Uh, look at that right there. What is that? Little Jimmy, this is really creepy. Jimmy's got gloves on and he's giving her a breast uh, oh. as, a, as he <laughs> as he picks them yeah, up, they yeah. flatten out you like pancakes. You should have been a doctor, man. Why? Uh, because you're... you were really gentle. Is no. there something oh. really in there? Yeah. I, I, I... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> were you just man when her breast didn't shoot anything? Man, you, you know, you really made my day, Jim. I can't tell. I mean, it, congratulations oh. on your HBO and you touch my titties, you. man. Feels like there's a Lego in I'm one. I'm never gonna wash my titties <laughs> now, man. Socks Jim, with a Lego in it. <laughs> Jim Norton touched my fucking tits. I'll never oh watch. I swear to God. <laughs> it's like when oh, Jerry Lewis t- kissed me, man. You know, it's really, I, 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 I I'm never going to wash them. I swear to God, they're going to be dirty titties. Thank you, Jim. I know you're going to bless me. Here you go. Her ID. 
Right. All right, we're going to hit something the Something in there, Jimmy? Really? If very possibly. I yeah. can't tell. Yeah, you can't usually It could tell be anything. Something. Yeah, a lot could... of glandular things going yeah. on in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, right. Thing, yeah. Could you feel like there's things that, like a goiter? Someone yeah. gets in their neck like an right. old man goiter in there? Sure. All right, there should be an old man in there. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's funny. No, it could be an old man. You never know, man. I have no nipples, though, but I'm not going to show you. Why show? We right. kind of want to see the fact that you don't have nipples. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pull one nipples. Yeah. No, no, no. She's got the typical Jewish uh, nipples. They're, no, sometimes they're, they're very inverted. small. They're, they're in, She's inverted. got big boobs and very Let, tiny nipples. That's they, how I, I like my tits up. Pull that tassel off. Wait, your nipples never <laughs> pop down? See, this is me. On the, see, that's me. I like my tits uh, up. Pull one of your tassels off. Uh, yeah, just aborted. let's see one of the tassels and I, off. I put, <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Pull one off. Pull one off. They're inverted. I had a girl like that. The inverted, you gotta cut what? like a slit in her back and suck her tits with a straw because they're inverted. I had a girl. Could like you that suck one it. out? I would. Ah, ah, Rich, it. suck it out. I'd, I'd, I'd rather, I'd I'd rather blow you don't have the nipples. No, Not I'm only in. are they inverted, but you have no areoli around them. It's awful. Wow. No, it's, it's terrible. Right. You have a belly button in your tits. <laughs> you don't have kids. Huh? You don't have kids, do you? Nah. I know you do. No. Yeah. He's always talking about his daughters or something. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's always um. All right. All right. All right. All right. No, you're always all right. talking about right. that. Okay. You're from Jersey, oh. right? All right. All right. All How right. good can he be all with right. a zip code that begins with zero? Ah, right. right. Jersey, oh, man. Right. Right. And he's talking, right? Yeah. No wonder his ears stinks. All right. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> I got bigger nipples than you. Uh, Ooh. Wow. And what about? I know you have a bigger dick than me. Not really with that thing hanging off. Ward is bigger than my cock. Oh, too bad. All right, Sandy, we're gonna get you out of here. All right. We might bring you back in. We don't know what's going on yet. Okay. How much do you I smell the pant the front of the pants? Any of the interns? How much do you smell the front of the pants? I, I, I'll pay you. <laughs> no one. How? No, who? Who? It's not who a bad me? idea, actually. Oh, oh put sure, their, you guys. Put their nose in the crotch area of the pants and breathe. <laughs> Be better than ri rich foot. No, I, I smell good. I Tim G wants to know if her tits felt like a sack of doorknobs. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. What's so funny? All right. I don't right. get it. I don't no, get of it. Of course you don't. I don't get that joke. Right. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> tits are very soft and doorknobs are hard. Right. Of course. Like I have hard. No, these are not implants. No. These well, are not obviously. cement. Yeah. Man, they're not cement. They're real titties. The right. real double D's. I hear you. Anyway, divine, delightful, delicious. Double and D long. Dangerous. Oh, you're right. Uh, yeah. She names all her body parts. Dan dangerous, and I'm really glad that Opie and Auntie are back on what the part air. Is all right. No, I really am. I'm okay, so all right. glad. Listen oh, to the Joe Boogie Sandy Kane remix. We'll continue in just a bit. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only Sandy Kane. Thank you very much. Thank you. Basically, it says, Whip them out Wednesday. Big. 
luscious, juicy ones. Wow. The swinging tribute to unrestrained female anatomy. Wow. It's with an out Wednesday. The OBN Anthony Show. Rich Boston Studio. You I promoting see. anything, Rich? Nah. I'm nah? Just, I'm in uh, McCurdy's in Sarasota this week, then the Palms next Saturday in Vegas. All right. I also want to thank Sandy Kane for stopping by. Pretty good first appearance on the new radio show. Absolutely. Absolutely. We got the gang from FHM. They're setting up. Yeah, what the hey? I don't know, but they look very, very serious. I haven't seen very one smile on their faces yeah. in the last very half hour. They're all disgusted. And now they're all just staring at us. <laughs> Setting up a bunch of lights. They're like, why do we have to do this? <laughs> we don't want any part of this, but they told us to go over there and film these idiots. No, is this right. going to be video? Uh, yeah. Yeah? All right, they're, I guess we're what video. What's for? I think we're doing a little something for the sales staff for FHM, right? Yeah. Oh, we love that? FHM. Yeah, we've been in the magazine a bunch of times, and I think... Sure. Uh, I think it would be very smart of FHM to get us in, in the magazine every month. Absolutely. Give us a little feature. Sure. We can make them giggle. Is that a humorous oh. anecdote? The Opie and Anthony Corner. Well, that's a very good name. We right. might take that. Opie <laughs> and Anthony Corner. Ooh. Corner of the page. Sure. Advice yeah. from O&A. Yeah. <laughs> Q&A with O&A. Dear O&A. <laughs> Wow, this, oh, this is not too is awkward. It's going to be nice having him sit They're up just staring at us. Oh, where I'm oh, wait, could you, could you do that thing? Yeah, you should. Over there, you can plug it in. Yeah, but no, over. That's, that's not. The other thing. Right. No, but no, that. No, if you take that, you could over there. There was the uh, the yeah. other. Oh, no. But the, then there's. <laughs> <they're> all, <laughs> they all look concerned. I know. Like we're actually saying something. All right. It looks like Kilroy. Well, can we get the coolers out of the, the studio until we're ready for them? <laughs> <laughs> Get some lighting. Oh boy, that's that's not good. That's good. Right in your uh, oh right God. in your mug. <coughs> yeah, this is just like taping for HBO. <laughs> hey, where's Ricky? Yeah, bring Ricky in. How are they gonna capture all of us for a picture? <laughs> us. <laughs> <laughs> this us shit, boss. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, look at that. All right, Ricky's in studio. I, I, we need the rest of the gang that uh, knows a little bit about this Ricky thing, okay? Wow, this is going to be one crowded studio. Yeah. yeah. Well, they could uh, wait outside the studio until we're ready for them, though. No? Well, no, those yeah. guys are setting up, no. though, right? Okay, whatever. That's fine. Maybe we'll just do the taping live on the show for everybody. Why not? Ricky's in studio. Ricky, the intern, who uh, looks really hungover. Uh, hold on, Ricky. Uh, wait, Ricky, the mic on. On. Hold on. All right, Ricky. Ricky looks very hungover, and you don't have that awful mustache anymore. No, apparently not. What no. happened? Um, well, after the Norton show, I went to a bar, uh, drank like one drink. I got a little uh, twisted. You drank one drink? <laughs> yeah. Twisty that I am, yeah. What did you drink? Uh, what the hell did I drink? You um, just um, cocktail? Um, no. <laughs> no um, Alabama Slammer, that's what I drank. Wait, so you had a shot? No, it was oh. just like a glass. Um, oh, okay. That's one big drink, then. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of alcohol in those right. uh, Alabama Slammers. You yeah. got a little tipsy. Thank yeah. God you're, um, you know, 21. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but, um, well, we had nothing to do with his alcoholism, <laughs> trust me. We don't know what our interns do after uh, hours. Right. So then what happened? Um, yeah, uh, like during that time at the bar, uh, Danny decides to uh, go get uh, a razor and some shaving cream and uh, and uh, <laughs> get, get my mustache shaved off. Shave off that uh, that little mustache you had. Yeah. How long yeah. were you growing that mustache? I don't even remember. Uh, it's four or five years easily. <laughs> four or five years now. No. No longer than that, maybe. I thought maybe you had just never shaved since you know. Yeah. No, no, no. I, tr- I I get it trimmed up like a little thin, but you know, other than that, I've only shaved it no, like you once. Had, you had one of those mustaches that you usually see on like a thirteen-year-old boy. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. when the hair first starts growing in. Yeah, and they're proud that they could grow hair, so they yeah. let it go, and it's just it's just a, it's a little it's, darker than. It's wispy and, and uh-huh. not much to it. Yeah. So, uh, in the middle of the bar, they shaved your mustache? Yeah. Danny? 
Yeah, I was just I was sick of it staring at me when I was trying to enjoy a drink. It was staring. Yeah, it was just it was, it was just annoying me. I was yeah. looking at it and I was getting physically uh, I was just getting angry. So I went out to I had to get cigarettes. So I figured I'd pick up a razor blade and some uh, some shaving cream and just get the job done. Did you shave, Ricky? No, I did not. Oh, yeah. I, I just Jesus. picked up the supplies. Who I'm the enabler. <laughs> uh, the donkey sausage. Donkey yeah. sausage. Big, big celebrity. That donkey shaves. sausage. <laughs> oh wow, there's something there, Danny. <laughs> big celebrity that she is. What, what's wow. that all about, Danny? I, no, I'm not. Trying, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. But yes, she, you are. Yeah. <laughs> are you kidding me? You said that line and looked down. It's like meh, meh. <laughs> big she, celebrity. She, she, she runs around just looking for it. So yeah, yeah good for her. Well, she's, she's like. The, I think she's becoming like the den mother of uh, the the whole show. Is she hot? Yeah, yeah she's sexy. Anything that uh, <laughs> anything that goes on, she seems to be there and seems to take charge. All right, and she also kissed you, but I, I you weren't really kissing her, bro. No, it was just like uh, just con just contact on lips. That was it. No making out or nothing like that. Just no. Just like. And how did that get started? I don't know. It just happened. Did she come up to you and just grab you? Yeah, it's not and like that. And started kissing you. No, it's just that she just cut her lips on my lips, and then it just stayed like that. And I think two guys took the picture. Oh, so it was just a photo op more than yeah. it was. Yeah. Make it. Why didn't you, uh, you should have went for tongue. Uh, no. Like, if she approached you and did that, you could have slipped tongue without any repercussions. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. All right, so then what happened, Danny? Then you guys all came back here all drunk? Uh, well, I, I was planning on staying in the city anyhow, because mm -hmm. I just going home didn't make sense. And uh, Ricky decided that he was not going to go home either and was going to crash here at the studio. You're a wild man. Yeah, he's crazy. He's a real rebel. So, uh... <laughs> wow. We uh, <laughs> so he came back here and uh, Danny gets pissed off when the other interns get no, it's uh, not more mic time than him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm so exhausted. I just want to go home and take a nap. All right. Yeah, I hear you. So uh, then you guys decide to record him or something? Yeah, I figured since since he was already intoxicated, I might as well make the most of it. So yeah. I just flipped on a mic and I uh, went for it. Good thinking. And are you in trouble uh, at home there, Ricky, for staying here last I'm night? I'm not sure until I get home. I mean, I did talk to my mom. Just She just called me to see if I was okay and whatever, but I, I don't know how my dad would feel about it, so I have to wait till I get home. About you being out. out all night? Yeah. Just so you went to a sleepover. Yeah. yeah. They, they won't even buy that. They're just like... They, they, my mom was upset that like I made the decision to like not go home, which you know would have... Been stupid anyway because it's like I'm in the city already. Why go all the way up north to Yonkers and then come back down in the city? Do north? me a favor, Ricky. Yeah. Don't practice your speech to mom on us. Yeah, yeah right. That yeah. was the mom's speech. I mean, mom, I didn't think it'd make any sense. To come me. on. You know, it wouldn't make any sense. I'm in the city already. It wouldn't make sense for me to go up north. Hey, <laughs> getting back to the HBO taping with Ricky. Host comic is getting the crowd ready before the uh -huh. taping. Asks where everyone is from. When he asks, is there anyone from outside of the tri-state area? Ricky raises his hand. When asked where he's from, Ricky said Yonkers. That was you? Yeah. Was, I heard that, that and head, started yeah. laughing, going, who is the idiot that doesn't know Yonkers as part of the tri-state area? I didn't know he said tri-state area. I heard him say out of town. I didn't know. Tri-state area. Yeah. Vote for Pedro. 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 And vote for me. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. Vote for Pedro. <laughs> vote for Pedro. If you vote for me, all of your wildest dreams will come true. <laughs> <laughs> You're that guy. You're that guy. That's classic. All right, well, we got some audio of uh, Ricky. Ricky is drunk and tries to reenact a Norton joke. Oh, God, yeah. Danny? I don't, I don't really remember. I kind of had a lot to drink as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go Good. to the tape. You had an Alabama slammer and you're drunk? Yeah, I know. After fucking being drunk from earlier, I'm such a fucking pussy in drinking. I haven't drank ever and gotten drunk, and, and like, now I'm a little drunk. Oh, drunk? What did you think of Jimmy's show last night? Jimmy's show was fucking awesome, man. He fucking murdered. It was fucking funny as fuck, man. What was your favorite part? Um, the Terry Schiavo and uh, the 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 Pat O'Brien part that had me fucking almost falling off the seat, man. It was fucking funny as hell. Reenact, because a lot of people didn't get a chance to go to that show. He was trying to tell a joke about Terry Schiavo, and everybody was like, "Oh," he was like, "What the fuck?" You know, there's nothing wrong with talking about Terry Schiavo. Says so going into it or whatever, and fucking like, <laughs> like he starts like you know. If I was the boyfriend, I'd be like, sure, you can go visit her, but then I'd go and fuck her, like, every day or something. I know I'm butchering the line, but it was funny as fuck. I mean, you have to go see Norton to see that, that fucking act reenacted. It's fucking funny. Like, he's like, 
you know, if I were the boyfriend, you know, I let the families come come over and see her, but then I'd have to fuck her. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love Derek, man. Derek's the fucking man. Wow, why the F word so many times? Wow, yeah, I, I don't know. holy fuck. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I have never heard so many F words. In one little conversation <laughs> like that. Were you sitting on Otto's lap? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What happened? You just curse a lot when you get drunk? Do you I curse a lot like just, that? Wait, wait. I, I, that was my first time getting drunk, so I don't... I don't first I time getting drunk ever? Yeah. yeah. You've never no. had anything to drink before? I have something to drink, but I've never gotten, like, drunk drunk, you know? All right, well, no. we got another clip here. Ricky explains what happened to his mustache. Oh, hmm. Ricky, what happened to your mustache? Fuck. You fucker shaved it off. <laughs> what happened? You walked into a bar with a mustache, you left without a mustache. Yep. That's it, <laughs> isn't it? What happened? Who shaved you down? Give us the details. I don't want to give out names. There's a lot of whackbaggers in that uh, bar that we walked into. And so whackbaggers shaved you down. Yeah. Like, well, you bought in the fucking razor, dick. <laughs> and then fucking, like, this chick... Fucking shaves a mustache off. We have they they took pictures of it. I'm fucking getting shaved off or whatever, and it's all done. Like prior, it's like Richard I know. Pryor, little intern Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> they're fucking fuck. they fucking mustache shaving. <laughs> you shaved the fucking mustache. <laughs> you <laughs> fuck you pelicans. <laughs> Black baggers shaved it. Now, Quinn's you almost going to say, but we were shaving mustaches first. <laughs> <laughs> can't you just post on whack bag and cringe? <laughs> right, bitch? Why can't you post on both? <laughs> Ricky didn't get laid and sucks with girls. He explains that mm -hmm. with this. Did you get laid tonight, Ricky? Oh, nah, not at all. Why not? Because I stink. I don't know. Wasn't there girls at the show tonight? Oh, there's a ton of girls. Fucking really pretty ass fucking NYU girls just there. And I mean, we were there for the Kevin oh. Brennan show, uh, before the Norton show, and like there were some chicks that were sitting right in front of us that were just fucking smoking. They had to be at least not over, not over, like, not even like 20. They had to be 20 a little bit over, not not that much. They they couldn't have been that old. They're fucking hot, some fucking good-looking white oh chicks, but I didn't talk to them. I don't have fucking balls to. <laughs> and even, like, this, this dude from, like, White Bag Joe, he's like, yeah, fucking, why don't you just talk to him? And it's like, I don't know. It's, I don't know. If you had balls, what would you say to these girls, Ricky? I don't know. <laughs> I guess I don't have balls. I don't know. You meet a cute girl. She goes, hey, aren't you Ricky? And what do you say? Hi. <laughs> I don't know. Yes, I am. <laughs> Sure, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck else to do. I mean, it has to be a girl here. It wouldn't be like you know you in the studio right now, you know, talking. Or you're like not drunk and I'm fucking like drunk. <laughs> you have to unfuck yourself, or I will unscrew your head and shut down your neck. God damn it! Are you fucking with me? Can I tell you, I'm 36. That's the worst conversation I've ever heard yeah. anybody have about anything. It is awful. I you are terrible. Girl, and, and Danny with the interview, and girl comes up and says, you're Ricky. What do you say? Yeah. What do you say? Go. You know how many? He, he, Ricky had one drink. I had about 12. Yeah. I listen now. I feel like a scholar. Wow. <laughs> All right. Here's uh, another clip. Uh, Ricky, I guess you ask if Ricky's jealous of Travis, the, the young go-getter. I don't... You know what? <laughs> this is... Th in all honesty, this is like the first time me hearing this stuff because I, just, I don't even remember it last night. Two drunks just uh, talking to each other after Norton's HBO taping last night. Are you, are, are you jealous of Travis? Do you think that Travis is stealing the spotlight? And if maybe Travis wasn't in the picture, it could be the Ricky show? Oh, hell no, dude. If it was somebody else, they'd still take my thunder, dude. I'm just like, I don't know. I mean, Tra Travis is definitely a, a, a better intern, in, in my opinion. Though. Why? Well, he he actually like you know does more shit than I do. I mean, he does get the orders right. He does you know more <laughs> shit, and then I'm I'm sitting here you know doing shit. You know, I mean I I'm, I honestly I honestly have to look up to to Travis too because he he's cool. You know he I, even though you know he'll still look at me as like an idiot sometimes, but you know he'll fucking still sometimes. be cool about it. I mean yeah. you know, but nah, Travis is cool. I mean you know if it was. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, he's cool. <laughs> you look up, you look up the Travis. Yeah. 
Wow. I don't, I don't even know. Shave me. Well, I am just <laughs> dumbfounded here at this conversation. Travis is a bad motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> he gets coffee and shit. <laughs> don't forget the milk. He comes in the studio and reads a magazine like he doesn't want to be here. Does the shit, you know, and I don't do the shit, but shit. This is just awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. What's going to happen tomorrow when your mom finds out that you got drunk last night and stayed at the She studio? won't find it out. She just, I, dude, she's not even mad at me being drunk. I mean, she's calling me because it's like, all right, come home now. I'm like, no, it doesn't make any sense for me to get home because I have to do the radio show. I have to work here at Opie and Anthony in like a couple of hours, and it doesn't make sense for me to go all the way fucking to Yonkers and then yeah, come mommy. back. It, it, I mean, I'm missing out on a lot of sleep, and you're turning on the instant replay. And, I mean, dude, it's like, it doesn't make any sense for me to go all the way home and fucking going back, you know? It, it makes no sense at all. Ricky. And I know she's, and dude, she's telling, she's saying to me, oh, you know, you, you don't make, you can't make that decision and that bullshit. And now, like, I have to talk to my dad tomorrow and I know it's going to be fucking hell. I know my dad's going to flip. I thought he was going to say my dad's going to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> wow. How would that have been? Wow. You know how uncool it sounds to be using the word fucking and... You know, and yeah. then she fucking said that when you're talking about your mommy. <laughs> yeah, and I told her, you know, it doesn't make any fucking sense for me to go for fucking home when I'm in the fucking city. Mommy. How old yeah. are you? I'm 19. Okay. Hmm. And your mom said that it's not for you to make that decision to stay yeah. out? What, what's your background? What's your El Salvadorian. Oh. It's <laughs> 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 oh. just, oh. <laughs> I said, oh, that explains everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well, dumb dumb. Well. <laughs> All right. Are you ready for your book report? Or whatever? Yeah, that's that's kind of a uh, re yeah, report. A report? On sarcasm? Yeah. Where is it? It's in my back pocket, I feel. <laughs> it's like in school. Well, yeah, we asked him to <laughs> do, do um, fold it up in your back pocket. What school do you go to? Uh, Westchester Community College. Uh, uh, West Community College. Rich, we uh, told him to do a little report on sarcasm. He didn't oh. get sarcasm. Yeah. Uh, Nathaniel was was in our office one day. Who, by the way, uh, really gets sarcasm. He gets sarcasm the most out of the interns. Yeah. The most. He sure. was sitting at his desk, and um, uh, th for some reason there were a bunch of the chairs in the office. We're all gathered around him. Uh, as people had just pushed him there, I guess. And he looked around and went, could I get another chair around me? And... Uh, Ricky grabbed another t the couch <laughs> yeah. and was trying to push the couch over there, thinking perhaps he really did need yet another seat around wow. him. Yeah. So he could has. Oh, that's right. Jimmy wasn't here for that either. Complete lack of understanding <laughs> right. about sarcasm. Oh yeah, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy's holding his head. Yeah. yeah Nathan is just like, could I have another <laughs> chair around me? And he went to get him another chair. Yeah. 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 Like a ass. Ass. You are a real ass. <laughs> So, so we told him if he's going to work on this show, he really has to understand sarcasm. Absolutely. So we told him to do a little report on sarcasm. I mean, you're a bright guy. <laughs> <laughs> so he looks like ADD. If you could look at ADD, he just he's just in the another face of gaze. ADD. Is that it? Yeah. Dude, why don't you have any confidence in yourself? Your parents beat you up when know. you were growing up. No, no. Not physically, but just. Mentally, you mean? Yeah, yeah, something. Yeah, something. Not yeah. All yeah. yeah. Uh, they wouldn't let you sleep in the hut as a kid back in El Salvador? <laughs> <laughs> no, I never lived there. I was born here, so, oh. thankfully. But they both came from there, so. Both. Why is that yeah. painful that you were born here? No, no. Did not, you say painfully? No, thankfully. Oh, thankfully. Okay, I'm yeah. sorry. You yeah, kind of get a little ghetto every so often, I've noticed. <laughs> you try to get a little ghetto, like your voice. Yeah. When you're not hanging out with uh, us... Caucasian people, is there? Uh, do you really like get into the whole uh, ghetto thing? I, I I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I you see. So I can say both and stuff <laughs> instead of both. That's right. I see. You get him some pussy, and then right when he's finished, have Nurse Ratchet come in. We got uh, we yell at him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't want to have to tell your mother, Ricky. <laughs> <laughs> please, 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 please don't shave my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, and we give Ricky a lot of credit. He's in college and he he does his own radio show. We got we got. Are these new clips from your radio show? I I suppose so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Want to listen to more of Ricky's college radio show, okay. Anthony? Jimmy? Uh, oh, Rich? absolutely. Of course. Oh. Right. W Y U K. <laughs> uh huh. Sure. Anyway. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. What? 
What did you anyway? Like, I'm getting uh, stuff today for um, yeah, they're whispering over there. Which anyway, I mean, anyway, I'm getting. We're gonna today. change uh, the subject the to um. Anyway, my clothing. Ricky shoes. No, not even much. Well, okay. I'm coming in today just because I have a job interview. He and, looks um, so nice. Pretty boy. He's so beautiful. I'm getting stuff to Pretty boy. I have <laughs> chunk <laughs> on. He's pretty. He got the chunk pretty hair guys. with the pretty <laughs> shoes. The pretty. His, his braces are pretty. <laughs> he got everything oh pretty. Oh, boy. Oh, no, boy. But real quick, it's just I'm getting crap for it just because, um... I wear in chanclas just because I can't stand Adidas. Like, let them know. Yeah, because I can't. Adidas. I can't wear dress shoes all day. Come on, it's like I'm used to wearing sneakers, whatever. We're wearing dress Go. shoes is like. Try being a girl. Song. Ricky, that is captivating. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. It you stinks. Could, you could tell that whole crew is like the nerdiest. She's got like the black, the biggest Uncle Tom probably <laughs> on campus there. You know, <laughs> makes Kid Africa look like Malcolm X. <laughs> uh, you know, and some broad and. <laughs> Green nerds. Wow. That shot's my man, Bush Rocker, right there. That was a special delivery. <laughs> G-Dev, that was the remix. And then I got some Wu-Tang coming up right now. Old school Wu-Tang. So check your neck on the new sound of Power like 8. Welcome to you. Yeah, he was ghetto right there. Yeah. That was your ghetto delivery. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. You put on a good, um, what do they call that? Uh, uneducated sound. Yeah. I wanna leave the game without at least saying goodbye. So I'm a people on the left, all my people on the right swing. One last time, it's the new sound of Power 88, it's Ricky here. I don't need any music for the uh, outro today. It's 11.58, got two minutes after my show, but it's basically the end anyway. I was going to wait for Abby, just so she can uh, plug her show, but I'll do it for her. She's coming on from uh, 2 to 4 today. Uh, tune into her, she does some great uh, stuff. <laughs> she, no, she does some great talk of, she does uh, she talks a lot about uh, things, and then she also... Um, plays a lot of good music, so tune into her, 2 to 4 today, 914 I got the power hour coming up next, and uh, that's about it for today, see ya. I like how you started singing with the song I was singing. Is that an Eminem song you were singing to? Yeah, that was the end of uh, Encore, and I can't believe I even freaking did that. Good time, that's good. Holy yeah, that's pretty amazing. You listen to that show, remember the, the scene when people were jumping out of the windows during the Depression? <laughs> That was really um, wow. horrible. Really, really bad. Yeah. yeah. What's next? Yeah. Well, we got What's the report next? on sarcasm. I guess. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a report on sarcasm. You play that radio show, and someone says that was good. That's the end of the report. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it basically sums it up. God, this guy has no self-esteem whatsoever. I know, and we're and just, just and justifiably so. I, I feel bad for him. Did you ever work? Like for a guy named Pereno or something, you seem like beaten no. down. <laughs> hey, Mark Pereno. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why don't we, why don't we get this report in, Anthony? Yeah, let's let's get oh, this done. God. All right, let's get this over. Let's hear. Right, by the way, Ricky's take on sarcasm. This will be your last appearance on our show. <laughs> oh, oh, so make it go. No. Go out in in a blaze of glory, right. please. Oh, all right. All right. Oh. Um. Let her rip. Make believe, you know, you're in a classroom and you actually have to do an oral report on sarcasm. That actually makes it worse, though. But okay. well, You want to be radio, so you got to... Yeah, I mean, this should be no big deal. okay there, Ricky? You look like you're freaking out. Oh, oh, yeah, man. I'm freaking nervous right now. Why? Oh, yeah? Um, I don't know. You're yeah. good. Now he's saying freaking. And now, yeah, because I, I was... Uh, <laughs> little potty mouth. Mom might have heard that. Yeah. No, she she doesn't know how to operate an XM radio thing, so... I could see I'm stupid. All right, that's nice. <laughs> Oh, She's castrating and stupid. Very nice, Rick. Well, at least we know where you got your stupid part from. Mm. <laughs> I think he's a good kid. Uh, you know what? No, Shut your diplomatic I, face. I like the kid. I think he's a good... I, it's you know, hard to smash the, him. It really is. I, I like really him think a lot. For 19, uh, you know what? We're going to go back to my place and talk about your career tonight. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, two men eating <laughs> scented marmalade. <laughs> <laughs> we only have a minute left? No, three. Oh, three. Okay. Right. Come on. Let her rip. Oh, let her rip. Um, s sarcasm. Um, I just wanted to start out this uh, little presentation on the definition on sarcasm, which has two meanings. One, a cutting, uh, a cutting, often ironic remark intended to wound. Second uh, definition of it, a form of wit that is marked by the use of sarcastic language and is intended to make its victim the butt of contempt or ridicule. Hey, this is good. Yeah. Uh, like, a, like when someone says that's proper to say the T and often. Oh. That comes... Okay. What, what does it mean to you, though? You, you're just uh, copy and paste it from a dictionary. Well, yeah. he said to start, he wants to give the yeah. definition, oh, and, right then, right. Yeah, but and then he'll move oh, on. Right, right. Plagiarizing jizz bucket? Go ahead. Yeah, no, I, I just did this like a couple of hours ago when I was drunk, so it uh, didn't, right. didn't really help out too much. 
That's great. Way to impress uh, Anthony and I and Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Uh, we give you an assignment and you do it last minute. Right. Sorry. Go ahead. Um, yeah, no. Uh, everyone is sarcastic in one way or another just to be funny or just to mess around with another person. It all depends on the situation and how it's supposed to be used. Yeah. Is this your words? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, right. that's why it sucks. Let her um, uh, Fifty thousand dollars isn't anything. Is one example of car sarcasm. There are some times when sarcasm is used, but you can't really tell. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Fifty thousand dollars is an OP line that made sense. Yeah, but, oh, but oh. explain that. Why is that? Yeah, I, I, I keep going with it. Uh, the example I said before about Opie saying to Jim that fifty thousand dollars isn't really anything was an obvious sarcasm. But there were people that thought that hi him saying that without a second thought may, may not. Uh, oh. No, you can curse and settle it. Yeah, I know. But <laughs> yeah, you might as well curse. You, you, you need a drink? No, no, no. loosen you up a little bit? No. No. All right, mm -hmm. all right. back up a little bit, because you, you were stuttering through that whole uh, last line. Yeah. I'm just noticing some typos and stuff, so... Mm -hmm. so Why are you shaking? Look at You're shaking. Yeah, Put your I'm hand out. Now. Just calm yeah. down. Put your hand out straight in front of you like this. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Shaking. It's not like you're on a really popular radio <laughs> show that the whole country's listening to. Relax. Yeah. Just relax. Just, ourselves. There's only four yeah. or five people in the room. Just just picture it that way. Um. Holy crap, dude. <laughs> relax. <laughs> people looking from out there, the whole film crew. Yeah, the film crew, they don't even care. They're just trying to get the lights right. Just calm down a little bit. Um, yeah. I don't even really, really forgot where it was already. Um, Your hero, Travis. <laughs> Come on now. Um, snap to it. Get to this. Are you? Uh, oh my God! They turned what? the lights off. <laughs> they're, they're turning the lights okay, off. Here goes the Sandman. <laughs> no, go ahead. You can do it, man. Um, focus. Yeah. Focus. Come on. Look in Jimmy's yeah. eyes. Go ahead. I'm I'm supporting you. Look, see. Um, Look in his eyes. He, he'll yeah. show you the support that you yeah. need right now. Wow. All right, we're gonna have to do this tomorrow. Um, are you in tomorrow? No, I'm in Friday. Oh. All right, we'll That's have to do it Friday because I think the show's ending like right. What, this now? minute. Rich, thanks for coming. Oh, thank by you today. for having me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I'm out of here.